What up, pimps? And welcome to another episode of the H3 Podcast Live. Catch it every Friday at 3 p.m. at twitch.tv forward slash H3 Productions here today with Ela, of course. Why but not? as importantly, here with Eric, Common Etiquette. What up, pimps? What up, what up, what up, what up. <laughs> Thanks for coming. And Gross. Jack. Hello, hello. Of Jack's film. Woo. Two wonderful YouTubers who I admire very much, and I'm super, super excited to have here with us. We've got cigarettes on deck. I'm not a smoker, but when people bring cigarettes, I sometimes smoke them. Kids don't smoke. It's a horrible habit. We've got some rosé, compliments of Eric. Sparkling rosé. Yes. Sparkling rosé. Yeah. Thank you, Eric. The bubbles so, help. <laughs> they do. So anyway, thank you guys for coming. Really excited. Oh, yeah, let's cheers. Actually, I'm almost, let me, oh, let me re-up yeah, yeah. on my rosé. You should Bob probably up. fill it more, because I'll just keep going. <laughs> okay, that's a, here, go go hard on that. Yeah, everybody yeah. get a little bit more than a little me. Bit more. Cheers right. to, the, uh, to the emoji movie. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> to the emoji movie. July 28th. Seven days, guys. Oh, Absolutely. Man. Cheers. Slancha. Salute. L'chaim. All of them. Skull. There it is. So how are you guys doing? What's going on? What's good, baby? Uh, not too much, man. Just, uh, you know, struggling to stay relevant on um, all the uh, all the social medias. You <sighs> it's know? that eternal struggle. The, in- the eternal. You know, you always have that, that fear in the back of your head. Like, oh, Absolutely. God. When's it going to happen? You when know? am I just, when are people just going to turn off? You know? When? But the thing that bothers me about that question, I don't know. Do you, do you feel that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because like, well, you've been around for a while too. You got well. You're you're like the actually. Yeah, you guys have both been around forever. Yeah. I think the first YouTube video I ever put up was in 2007. Yeah. Wow. Before Wait. that, there was really? like I think you could only make a video like five minutes long. Or right. Like there that. are time yeah. limits. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yo. So that's the thing that trips me out about you. Mm-hmm. Is that you're the Salvia guy? I'm always and, in the shadows. But like, yeah. because you were a meme, you were like one of the original internet memes. Yeah, I'm the deep state of YouTube. <laughs> you're 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 the dark web. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm behind the scenes pulling like Joey Salads. All those guys all comes back to me if you follow the money. Damn all right. the money, it all leads back to Eric. But he w- if you guys have probably seen this smoking Salvia meme. And when I met you and I started watching your videos and became a fan, it didn't click right away that you're that guy. And I was like, yeah. oh, what the fuck? I look a lot different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a young man anymore. I feel that. I feel that. Well, it's also a big departure, too. I mean, you have the yeah. salvia vids, but then you're this total 180 with the comment etiquette. You right. know, yeah. there's no relation. No I chose a correlation. different drug to you put did. in my body. <laughs> yes. during That's those. right. <laughs> so this is, comment etiquette is your your body on alcohol and yeah. previously yeah. is your, your body on salvia. I'm doing a, I'm doing a real trippy, like, uh, human experiment. <laughs> Thing, using my own walking. How's corpse. it going? Ah, good. It's good. Nice. Shouldn't have paused. This. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. great. It's going good. Man. I believe that. Seeing my doctor on Monday. But I am fascinated by this eternal struggle to stay relevant on YouTube because I feel that all the time. Yeah. yeah. And the, the thing that drives me crazy is that I never know if it's my fans that don't like me anymore or if it's YouTube's algorithm yeah. that doesn't like me anymore. And that's the thing that drives me fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. You it's guys. impossible to keep up. Well, honestly, I, I can't keep up with the algorithm anymore. I just try to make stuff when I can as frequently as possible. Yeah. You know, that's just and like I can't because if you obsess about the the algorithm and the numbers, you will never you will sleep. You'll ne- you will absolutely go insane. Yeah. So it's I just like that, can't. That movie where the guy starts seeing like circles everywhere. That <laughs> Aronofsky movie about pie. Oh, oh, sure. Yeah. Wait, pie. Pie. It's called Pie, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wait, was yes. that the one with uh, Jim Carrey? No, that's no. The, the number 23. Oh, yeah, that yeah, that movie so is just, hilarious. Yeah. You can skip hilarious. that one. Probably one of the best Carrey movies. Of, uh, he puts a mask on and everything. It's green. I love, I love the, the number I love to double feature that movie with the Emoji movie, if possible. <laughs> <laughs> that's I mean, nothing's though. stopping you, man. <laughs> oh, but so like, excited. I don't know. The deeper I get into YouTube, the more I found out like some really disturbing shit from like some people high up on YouTube that I honestly can't even say. But there are, I can say that they, there is an invisible hand pushing content and suppressing content. I can say that. That's a thing that happens on YouTube. I believe it. They They still won't admit it. They will never admit it. Of course. Of course. But I think anyone who's been on YouTube for a long time. Yeah, they agree. I'm I'm getting slammed out of here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's just all about, I mean, like, all right, so you've been around since 07, 06. It's just all about like, how can you, like, how can you adapt? Obviously, I know it's cliche, but it's all about adapting and mm. it's changing. And mm. it, it's it's making sure that you don't lose your personality and your style, mm. but you mold it to contemporary um, trends. Well, I don't want to say trends, but you have to mold it to the, the, the tastes and the formats of today. Because videos today are way different than what they were five, seven, Absolutely. ten years ago. Yeah. 
I've noticed that your content's changed a lot over the years. It sure has. Is yeah. that is that a conscious effort to like switch with the with what you think works on YouTube? Well, it's 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 A and B. A lot of it is yeah, merely trying to catch up, mm -hmm. but a lot of it is also like what I think is funny. Mm -hmm. So what I think is funny today isn't necessarily what I thought was funny yeah. ten years ago. I mean, like who here it's hasn't looked at their own content from years ago and, and cringed and yeah, went, it's abysmal, oh, yeah. "That's not funny." It's abysmal, I, right? <laughs> you know, you'd see that and, look, and go, "Well, I would do that differently." Yeah. Well, that's how I feel. Yeah, you know, and okay. I every single day, I've been getting this since two thousand eight and nine. I miss the old Jackson. I was, you know what I mean? Yeah, hell yeah. That was one so of my like, questions for you. Yeah, because that's that's. I guess that's something that any YouTuber gets after Every they've single been one. on for, for a couple I years. I guess the question is how long you get it for, because mm -hmm. you've been getting it since. Well, I'm an old timer, so I've been getting it forever. Jack, yeah. you're really smart about it. When you were doing the the daily videos, the Yai, which yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't do those daily anymore. Do no, you? no, I can't. Because if I do that daily, then I can't do anything else. And if I can't do anything mm -hmm. else, yeah. then I die creatively. I yeah. got could it. not yeah. comprehend how much fucking time that must take. It was just, yeah. All of it is just in the editing. You know, yeah. it's just a tedious chore to edit because it's all like timing, 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 timing. You know, it's not it, it's it's like you're clipping frames, you know, frames to make the joke work. You yeah. know, you mm -hmm. take a joke that's yeah. maybe at 50 and with the timing, you can turn up to an 80 or 90. But it's all about just the editing. So that that was the hardest part. But the rest of it wasn't that difficult. Mm -hmm. It was just just the, the being consistent about it, which I suck at. Generally, there was a window <laughs> where I was I was OK at and then. Yeah, comedians so aren't known for their punctuality. They're That's not. True. They're <laughs> not. Amen to that. They like to sleep in and do whatever the hell they want for a week while something's due. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, deadlines. Yeah. yeah. It took no. me two years to get a fucking haircut. I <laughs> Speaking of which, how long has it been since I got a haircut? I don't even mm. know. I just don't have the will to cut it. It well, it's good. also a time sink. You yeah. have to, like, and he's... make an appointment. Mm -hmm. That's the it. Barber. That's, no, that's it. I'm how there. Much... I mean, like, I get it. That's right. It's going to take like two hours of my day. I could be playing video games. I could be napping. I'm, I'm saying, the time. You're saying you get it, but it looks like you have a pretty good Yeah, you kind of clean so. cut there, Jack. <laughs> no, man, I don't know that you get my story. I don't know time. if you get it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, fuck it. What does she know? You know what I mean? <laughs> He's got a guy that comes over, <laughs> wakes him up. YouTube royalty over here. That's that's right. That's what I am, Eric. YouTube royalty. <laughs> yeah, I'm the guy who cuts it, so I should know. It's true. It's, it's good money. It's good money. Way better than <laughs> it's my clicks per minute or whatever they're called. <laughs> Your AdSense today. It's, well, speaking of haircuts, can we get a can we get a beautiful tight shot of? Um, Oh no, it's kind of gone. It's kind of gone. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, Eric. It's just, like salt and pepper now. Was it just a week? How long ago was it you got that? Not haircut? even a month, like three yeah. weeks. That thing I think. really fell apart. I know. Quickly. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I can't even spike it up anymore because it's ludicrous. You gotta maintain. <laughs> ludicrous all you, gotta stuff, maintain. you gotta maintain. If, that's yeah. a high maintenance cut. <laughs> and like, it's all brown on the bottom now. Dan, can you can you pull up a picture of his original yeah. pineapple cut? Yeah, I think. Just to get a before and after. Google like Eric. Pineapple, pineapple <laughs> boy, <laughs> pineapple boy, boy. Come up. it's a delight. The, the worst we'll superhero in the DC universe. Yeah, yeah, pineapple, pineapple boy. boy. It was only in a couple of issues before they pulled it. He was eaten. So, what was that saga? If for the people who don't know, oh, I uh, I made a Kickstarter that was intended as a joke, but like fingers crossed, it would actually work. Where I asked for. Some like two grand or something like that, just to drink wine and get a haircut. I remember that was a wonderful thing. Document it. Yeah, it was genius. And it took off. It ended up doing really well. And I think that's where I realized, like, oh, this is what Kickstarter is for. <laughs> Stupid shit. That's the only honest Kickstarter I've seen. Because yeah. every Kickstarter, I think you said in the video, you're like, yeah. it's all. Most of it's fraud. All of it's fraud. No, Every it's Kickstarter fraud. is fraud, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. And you're the only honest guy who's like, give me money. I'm going to get a fucking haircut and drink beer. And yeah. that was refreshing. Wine. There was, there was Wine. a guy who got like, Sorry. Oh, yeah. I don't want. beer. I drink Big. beer. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. It just hold wasn't, on. Hold wasn't on. on camera. Hold on. Did you write that in the description? <laughs> Do people know you were going to be spending money on beer? Because that is a little bit that fraudulent. That is fraud. Well, that is fraud. They're all frauds. Okay. At least I'm honest about it. Don't include that in this. Uh, all right. What do you yeah. Can we cut that out? I've got I've got lawyers chomping at the bit to get. <laughs> me right now on the Kickstarter. <laughs> I'm a class action lawsuit so wait, right now. Can we see what Dan's? Uh, Dan, are you pulling something computer? up? Because I don't see shit. <laughs> Pineapple boy. Eric. What? I like you, the doodle though. You need to switch. I oh, change. Dan's like use your own computer. All right. Uh, fuck, yourself, oh, fuck. Do it yourself. Producers like this. <laughs> Eric. 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 I'm a pineapple. I'm a pineapple boy. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's see if well, that finds anything else. I see a, a uh, thumbnail for it. I see a pineapple. Oh, phone. wait. Well, that's, that's not you. Well, that's the inspiration. Yeah, that's... Yo, that oh. one's fucking... Yo! That one's... That's that one's insane. That's, that, that's yeah. what Jenna used as the, oh. the basis. Yeah. Uh, she right, had let that me picture. find the pineapple boy. You should just uh, open the video. That thing in the top right. That oh wait yeah the top oh, right there. Oh that's you. That's what it was. Yeah. Wait was it there? Yeah what? there was like it a was big like montage. Small. It wouldn't have done it justice. Uh, but... Yeah that one. <laughs> what the fuck yeah, is this? Yeah, yeah. There's a couple pieces. What is? There. Did you make this? <laughs> it's pineapple went, summary. Oh I think this is from my subreddit. <laughs> oh nice. There it is. Surprisingly difficult so to find. You should just open the video. Probably. They like to they like to put up uh, desktop backgrounds and See, that's what have so... you. My subreddit hates me. All right, it's all it, my entire subreddit is like, yo, does anyone else think like, Jack's lost it? <laughs> oh, it's like every uh, fucking day. Do you know what, dude? You're not the only one. I everybody's subreddit is like just like in constant civil war. <laughs> yes, and yes. it drives me fucking crazy. I'll oh, tell of you course. what. I've been like, trying to stoke the flames in mine. <laughs> you're like really? that. I want it. Yeah. Oh, so, well, how, how, how have you stoked it? Um, like, what do you do? Just making alternate accounts and posting obscene races. <laughs> You know, oh forgetting God, to log out. <laughs> I find like That's our. That's a whole new level. <laughs> where is the end? Oh, by the way, I forgot to say. That's what I'm so. A little late. But this episode is sponsored by MeUndies and Audible. More on that later. That was supposed to go in the very beginning. Can we go back in time? <laughs> <laughs> Please pay us still. <laughs> oh, we could just say a bunch of really nice things about them. Like oh, yeah, no, I'm going to do it. I'm I gonna, use Audible every day. I'm going to reach them fail, around. Yeah. Okay, wait, not yet. Let's save it. Oh, okay. Let's right. save it. I'm going to give them a full reach around, though. <laughs> um, where is the uh, damn... It's, yeah. it's the one with the purple Fourth. text there. Mm -hmm. text. Oh, there you go. Okay. The long-awaited... Yeah. So Two years in the making. That's a, that's a lot of hair, man. When they cut yeah. that thing um, off my it's head, it's another dog. It's yeah, it looked like a dog. Yeah, that mane was really impressive, dude. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not even hair. You gotta mute your stream. Ay yeah yeah. Oh no. Okay. There it is. Hell there it is. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, that's a perfect shot. <laughs> the the the, the uh, yeah, yeah. audible. <laughs> the texture in the back is really something. That's a that's a uh, the tiniest wall climbing wall ever. <laughs> I was gonna say you can't really. I'm, I'm like no expert, almost but as tall as that wall climbing thing. Like, I think you just hang on it and wait till your arms get tired. A beginner's guide <laughs> yeah. to wall climbing. This is that's how you that is. grasp right. pegs that come out of the wall. So how much did you pay for that haircut? Uh, this haircut was. Um, you will okay, be well, well, what did you raise for Kickstarter? Because that's I, what it was, right? Yeah, the, you... the haircut was chosen by one particular pledger. He gave $600. Gave $600. Right. The haircut was nearly all of that. No. Nearly all of that. Yo, well, she should geez. be arrested for fraud. It was good <laughs> stuff, though. It, How do you spend 600 on a haircut? Haircuts There's a lot expensive. of materials that went into this. They're really expensive. Okay, in all fairness, was that a, do you feel that you were fairly treated? Oh, yeah. No, I got a deal, actually. Did you tip her? Uh... I gave her Before a shitload God. of wine after. There you I go. I brought like six Same bottles thing. of wine and I, <laughs> oh my I God. drank one. She was pretty I was like, dope. these are the rest of these are yours. I'll see ya. Oh, you just left it. Yeah, that just, was just left the tip. wine there. Okay. Uh, she was so cool about the whole thing, though. I yeah. mean, like you're striking up a whole conversation. Completely with happy with being on camera. See, she that was, was that's huge. So I feel fucking like nice about it. It's almost worth the six hundred. She did. I was telling Hila, she did like a like a test run on a dummy head. She had, like, oh, like. Oh, so that's right. Head with a, a hair work. on it, and so she, it was two haircuts. She like buzzed yeah. it down. Yeah. Well, there she was wanted like to make sure if it, it was like yeah. perfect. She like had the thing. She's she's good. And she all was right. looking at like the all the the stuff we were just looking at on Google Images. Mm -hmm. yeah. She was like, okay, how do I mm, <laughs> how take do a little bit of that, <laughs> and a little bit of this? What's your wow. name? And she left this little floof in the front. Uh, uh, Jenna Locke. Jenna Locke. L O C K. Shout out to the pineapple queen. There's probably oh go to her. You can get your own for six hundred dollars. Her Instagram's got some some like close up pictures of it. She took some like oh cool. We don't have to keep going on about this. Well, this, I, I, I have a question for you. Like, how many subscribers are you at, Eric? You're at three thirty. Three thirty. I guess going back to the YouTube thing, like yeah. you, your channel seems to be like criminally underrated. Uh, the, not underrated, but underviewed because people yes. love your content. I always see it on Reddit. <laughs> always, yeah. it's always recommended to me. The algorithm seems to love it because it's always on my homepage in the oh, sidebar. That's good to know. <laughs> but I don't know why. Why do you think your channel grow has been so so? I'm so bad at putting stuff up. Like, you think uh, it's a frequency? Yeah, thing? this could be a month where I just put one video up. Oh. And a lot of that is like I'm I'm not used to being self-employed for this long <laughs> period of time. <laughs> like I think all of us when things started to actually work. Uh, you were like, oh, I could just sit around and, and drink and play video games 100%. all day. Yeah. Why not? And yeah, uh, I, I think I have the opposite problem. 
where it's like I'm self-employed, so nobody sets the hours, and I think that I end up working too much. Yeah, Over, and I can't enjoy my free time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I think it shows. I mean, like you know, you guys uh, exploded. At, like, how how many uh, subscribers did you guys have before? I feel like. You guys blew up like right around the time when you were leaving your multi-channel network. That's right. Yeah, we had that's some beef true. with Dumped full all your screen. ads. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that? full screen and collective. Did you guys ever have experience with collective or full screen? No, no. I'm I'm with full screen now yeah. and I've never I you know, we just had an issue with them yet. It was uh, a copyright thing. It wasn't like Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. They, well, anyway, yeah. They was ha- being stupid on you. That happened that was like a, pff, 2 years ago, I guess. Yeah. That and was like our first big that thing. That dominated Reddit. And I yeah. think that like mm-hmm. That was Reddit, the first time that we had anything like that. And we were like, whoa, yeah. what is happening? I see. That was a that was a huge piece of the, the puzzle being on Reddit. Well mm-hmm. and people people listening who don't know who Eric is, go to his channel, Internet Comma Erica, and give his shit a watch because he is probably one of the most underwatched per quality of content there. Mm-hmm. Hopefully yeah. I won't have that as a award for long. <laughs> <laughs> Most underrated channel on YouTube. Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> belly laughs every damn time. I'm gonna have to get that tattoo covered up though. Uh, Especially yeah. this video was really good. And, uh, this was uh this was a lot of fun. Just looking at that hair, I can't believe how much it's grown out. It's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of a you, you should cut it. My out. grids are gone. When it first yeah. started coming in, <laughs> there was like a little bit of brown. It was like uh like had more definition to it, almost looked more oh. pineapple-y. Oh, that's but now it's cool. Completely. What do you do now? Because now you just look kind of like a school shooter. Like, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. On your face, and you're shooting up. A, you're one step yeah. away from shooting up a theater. But, like I look like a toucan. I look like I should be giving <laughs> nutrition yeah, facts on a on like a. Cereal How about box. another Kickstarter? You start up yeah. another one Love to it. maintain it. Yeah, that's all it is. Oh, it's to like maintain it. it. Yeah. It's a long-term just Kickstarter. Make a Patreon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Patreon Eric's just Patreon. for my haircut. Oh, my God. Yeah. Eric's hair, Patreon. This is a monthly. Right. This requires a monthly upkeep. All it done. Does, and it does. For, for the current Patreon I have, I have to do those with, like, a bald cap on because the hair has got its own. I don't want to. <laughs> Hilarious. I don't want to cross the streams. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I got 10 on that. I will right. not donate you to the normal content Patreon. No. But for no. your hair, it's I'm in for 100. That. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, you're getting <laughs> something there. Yeah, I'll get something. Damn yeah. right. That's my favorite content. I mean, recently of yours anyway. So we can get more hair videos. Oh, yeah, God, yeah, yeah. Jack, tell me, what's your what is the obsession with the Emoji Movie? Because anyone who's been following you knows that you've been slamming the Emoji Movie for <laughs> what, how long's it been? Uh, You're counting months. down the days. Has it been yeah. seven months? You've been jacking been, their shit. And it's well, the frequency you know shifts, but I feel like I, we can date the stupid meme of mine uh, back to either late last year or early this year. Basically, that's when you heard, you saw the trailer. Well, yeah, they had like a teaser teaser really? that was just like infamous. It really was one of the most disliked videos on YouTube for its time. But then an actual trailer didn't come out till May. And that's kind of unheard of for a uh, for a July movie or for any movie, really. No trailers until two months before it comes out. It was very mm-hmm. weird. Um, but that once the trailer came out, so then it kind of like, already. you know, <laughs> that kind of kick started the whole meme of it really back in May because that's when I did like a frame by frame analysis of the trailer. Right, 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 right. Which was like an hour long because I'm pausing it and just analyzing everything, As you know, mezzan scene, very, you know, observing the frame. And then, Can you summarize your yeah, it'll take, analysis? Yeah, it'll, it'll take an hour, but um, yeah, oh, summarize, no. No, you have to see the full thing start Eli, to finish. Eli, you can't rush this art. You can't rush art. No, I, even my dad was like, yo, I, I think I watched about Ten minutes before I <laughs> signed <laughs> off, and I was like, yeah. "Dad, that's impressive." Ten what was minutes. the average watch time on that? God, I wish I knew. I, I didn't even bother to check. I was, yeah. just, you know, I, I just put it out there and yeah. let the world do what it wanted. The, do the what algorithm does. turned on you on that thing. It, it, oh well, <laughs> I hope so. I don't want anyone to watch the whole thing. Well, yeah. t- tell me what what is it that fascinates you about the emoji movie? It's the a movie idea. about emojis. Yes, ex- exactly. Just well, the break whole. It down. That's you're all the, you need you're to the know. Expert. I am the expert. Uh, here and here's my breakdown. No, it's just it's one of those like I, like many others, I couldn't believe mm. that a major studio, a film studio, was putting a big, you know, the, the huge a amounts huge. of money. Do you know what's the budget on that film? Perhaps it's got to be hundreds, hundred, of millions. hundreds of millions, yeah. at least a hundred. Oh God! And uh, it's just <laughs> just the fact that it exists. At all fascinates me the Absolutely. fact that they these just imagine like these 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 middle aged you know <laughs> fat cats just decided all right what to, let's tap into the psyche of young America what are the what kids do they want? into these what days? do the kids want yeah. Mo, you know my granddaughter she's always texting in emojis done <laughs> good log it 
write it. We'll get T.J. Miller. We'll get a famous real actor, and uh, who was Sir Patrick Stewart. Yeah, we were uh, talking about that <laughs> before we started, but the, the fact that they got a knight to voice, a knight. <laughs> to voice the poop emoji. I understand the, the irony there, emoji. but at the same time, he's close to death. Do we really want this to be his last work? <laughs> you know he just recorded that like in his fucking car. Like he's in traffic on the way to like 100%. do like Shakespeare We're in the park. Yes, yeah, so that was. I'm yeah. a poop. Oh my this God. is Jean Luc Picard here. This man has a legacy. I didn't yeah, know yeah. that actually. That is oh, going to wow. be the poop emoji. Oh, buckle up! I learned it from Jack. <laughs> I learned it from Jack. The thing that fascinated me is like, this movie is just representative of all the formulated garbage that <laughs> well, they're churning out. Yeah. It's like the emo- the poop emoji wants to be a fucking muscle emoji, and it's his quest. <laughs> Because they said, you have to be a poop emoji. And he's like, nah, Doug. No, 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 no. Girl this, power emoji. This is the plot. The, the, the plot, <laughs> actually, is that Gene, who is a meh emoji. Yeah, what? Meh. You know, oh, like, oh, okay. meh. You know, I say it weird because T.J. Miller has that voice. I'm, I can't do it. I, my buddy Brock can do such a better T.J. Miller impression. Anywho. He's the voice guy, right? He's the voice guy. Yeah. He's amazing. Um, But, so... um. Gene is a meh emoji, but the the conflict, the central conflict of the film is that he feels all these other emotions, emotions, if you will. Oh. And his parents don't want him to feel that because his parents, which who are also meh emojis, they say, son, you have one job. And that job is to go meh whenever... <laughs> I can't believe I'm explaining the fucking plot. He's not supposed. Yeah, he's not supposed to. Yeah, because like, because it's empowering. Inside a phone. It's a story of empowerment. It's a story coming of to age and finding your own identity. Express yourself. People want you to be a man, but you're going to be a yes, a party hat popping emoji, right? Or what have you? I wonder if the executives had notes on that and they were like, you know, uh, we make a lot of money off these emojis. Do we really want to? <laughs> Do we really want them thinking for themselves? Right, right. They got like really we, metaphysical yeah, or, with it. Are we getting negative on the emojis? Is this bad PR for the emojis? God. Are we making them all look kind of... I think the emojis are impenetrable to yeah. bad PR. T.J. Miller really fought to he, he he went, did, he to went keep it. The, the integrity, he did, yeah. absolutely. That's why he left Silicon Valley, so that he could negotiate yeah. the um, scripts better. It's too much on his plate. Movie. Yeah. Just had the... That's right. Well, here's the thing that kills me. You know that movie is going to kill it. It's going to kill it. Oh. It's, it's going to make a fuckload of money. It, and there's no such thing as bad press for a film. People are, like, mm-hmm. you know, shitting on it, obviously, memeing about it for half a year. It's going to just destroy the box office. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing about, like, M. Night. Like, the guy has made a career of the worst movies ever there's made. There's an interesting comparison. And he always makes money. His movies. He does? Well, always. Well, here, he, Avatar. People hail it as the worst movie ever made. Crushed it. All yeah. of his movies make huh. money. But but here's the thing. I don't I don't think that was... In, like, he had some great films and then a nice little plateau of he, garbage. He, he literally... <laughs> and he's going back up. Is he, I did see his new one. Was Split's it good? Great. Yeah, Split's Split was so good. good. I've been fascinated oh, by his career it. because he started with such an amazing... Of film. His first one was The Sixth Sense, right? Instant mm-hmm. classic. The Sixth and Sense. it was like Breaking... Or, or unbreakable, unbreakable. Mm-hmm. and then the yeah, like uh, signs. The signs village, was like, oh, that was kind of bad. That was kind of bad. And it's like, yeah. oh fuck, where right. are we now? But mm-hmm. I don't think I don't think he's like an Ed Wood kind of figure. Like I think he's had he has a large number of bad films under his belt, but he's capable of greatness. We've seen it, and I think it's like yes, I th- it's it's bookend by like honestly, it's, Split was fun. You know, he's still shit at writing dialogue. It's very. There are some cringy moments in Split where I just went, "Oh, people don't talk like that." Yeah, weird people Kanye don't... references and stuff. Yes, right. you know exactly what. Yeah, it's like that that kid movie he made. The kid movie, the the visit. Uh, that little kid keeps rapping the whole movie, and it's so unbearable. Oh, I forgot about the <laughs> visit. I felt, I I felt bad for one. the actor. I was like, "There's no way you could make this good." <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is destined to be bad. <laughs> but that's what I I have doubt. Like when I go back oh, and watch The Sixth Sense, Thank it's a masterpiece. Mm-hmm. And I wonder, did he fucking... I think what happened is that he, he had a that? hit, and then they're like, can you make more? And there's a lot of money, so you maybe you rush out more movies? Well, mm-hmm. I think he I was know. also trapped by his own gimmick of the twist the ending, twist, surprise yeah. ending. Yeah, you're because right. Because The Sixth Sense is perfect. Yeah. And then Unbreakable has a nice one. And then it's and then Signs, what, Water? And then et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> yeah, wa- that was yeah. one of the worst twists in any movie ever. Yeah. Like, my brother's like a yeah. meteor, like an amateur meteorologist, and he was completely triggered by that movie. He's like, Funny. the atmosphere, atmosphere is yeah. fucking 50% water. Right. Why would you invade, right. a, lava invade a lava planet? Why would you invade a water planet? Exactly. Ma- filled with lava people. Right. Essentially to them, yeah. it's lava, yeah. Yes. They could spit at the aliens and, and send and them wind. running. Right. We, yes. We're venomous to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, water, is po- water is absolute toxic poison. They have everything we need. Yeah. yeah, that was a lot of holes in that 
in that uh, that gimmick. But I mean, that, so but that I was, see what you mean. It about was a the gimmick, twist. you know. And I yeah. feel like he was maybe he was pressured. We'll never know, but maybe he was pressured by studio heads and producers saying like, "Look, we need those twists, Mike. We need that. That's your that's your shtick. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Hitchcock did suspense. Spielberg did. Yeah. you know the Spielberg. Your gimmick is the twist ending. Yeah. and he maybe you know he kind of wrote himself in a hole. It there. becomes a trap. Yeah. Well, there's a thing about Split. He uh, actually, uh, I got to see it with Adam from Your Movie Sucks. He was in town and he was hey, going to sure. the hey. uh, AFI Fest. Hey. Yeah. Shouts to my boy. Shout mm-hmm. out. Um, and he's like, hey, I got this ticket for this M Night movie. You want to come? It might be hilarious. And we were both walking out of there like, well, that was good. Right. Mm-hmm. There's a little talk from M Night at the end where he was like, this was based on something that I had written into uh, a much older script. And he just like oh. went through his old files and found like, I Back guess before he, he had been. Yeah, yeah. Destroyed by the the mm. notion that he was the next Spielberg. Right, right. They had that. There was like a cover, a magazine cover, where it was like the next Spielberg. Oh, mm. jeez. You know, that thing. If it's got a question mark <laughs> in the headline, the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> next Spielberg, and then you flip the page, and it's like no, nope, <laughs> nope. Poor guy. I mean, what, what a headline like that. Yeah. It sets you up for so much failure. I would. Yeah, I would do the same you know, thing he did. I would be like, oh, now I got to suck. <laughs> right, right. Like Comenticate, the next PewDiePie? <laughs> the <laughs> the next answer page. is no. <laughs> Definitely not. Although Just I got the hair for it. He's got some do. wacky hair, right? He's, he does, yeah, he's, what, yeah, did he bleach, he bleach it? Like, what did, yeah. what did he, like, he went, um, I don't he went he, wild. Yeah, I think he's a bleach. He went Kauai. He went Kauai. He did. Kauai. Yeah, it's a good look Kauai. for him, you know? <laughs> yeah. Shout, shout out to him. What do you, what do you, you guys have any YouTube conspiracy theories? <sighs> yeah, I know we were talking just a touch about this outside before. Um, I mean, j- j- not really. I don't know. What are you, what are yours? I, let's let's pick. Man, I've off I've talked you. about it so many times on the show. I have so many yeah. conspiracy theories. Well, you were you were saying that Mostly, there's like this invisible, and you just yeah, said that, that yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. But I feel like every YouTuber I talk to, because you've been through all the ups and downs mm-hmm. of like you know, not understanding why you're getting more or less views, that there is always some, you're always trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. So always. I'm, I'm always curious if if, yeah, I if my people have conspiracy theories. Uh, I think that all those uh, companies pulling their ads was like a, a front for them just doing poorly uh, money-wise. Oh. You like, think they weren't performing? Yeah, I think they're all going to come back. I even made a joke about that in one of the videos. Why would they come back if it was performing mm. bad, bad? Bad fiscal quarter. Like, I don't think the ads are performing poorly, but I think that, like, not enough people are buying Pepsi these days. Mm. This whole mm. anti-sugar thing and, like, look at right. the things that pulled out. There was, like, Pepsi, Coke, McDonald's. Well, it, was, it wasn't limited for them. It was telecom Telecoms, companies. too. Well, th- that's an interesting That's theory. Interesting. But I mean, if you want to find anti FCC stuff on the internet, you're going to find a YouTube video where somebody's like explaining why net neutrality is good. Right. It's just mm. like, I think that a lot of these companies were like, we can save a lot of money by just blaming this on ISIS. <laughs> Saying like, <laughs> I know. We caught a Pepsi ad before an ISIS video. Where the was, fuck are yeah. these ISIS videos? Right. I have never watching. seen, seen one? Yeah. I've never seen one. Yeah, I've also, never caught one. No. Also, it's like, okay, so I'm sorry your ad ran on an ISIS video to 100 people. You don't have to worry about them buying Coke or, like, <laughs> you know, yeah, ruining so your brand. True. Yeah. I, it, and it, also, ISIS drinks Coke, too, on the <laughs> other hand. Like, those <laughs> fuckers need to drink Pepsi, right? Like, that's a market. Was, but uh, <laughs> that, the theory I've heard from people at YouTube yeah. was that they just wanted to negotiate better rates. Ah. And they used it as, like, leverage. Yeah. It was, like, wow. collusion against YouTube. It's still YouTube. something kind of schemy. It was like, definitely right. scary. Yeah. Right. It's not the surface There's explanation. no moral high yeah. ground reason Absolutely not. And the surface explanation doesn't really make sense, really. No. It doesn't. No. Were you guys hit hard by the, the boycott? I, I think I noticed the dip, but... It uh, wasn't too bad for you? It wasn't too bad. Um, that's I, right. I don't pay... I don't think I was able to, like, see because, like I said, I got a shitty upload schedule. Oh, so okay. I was like, oh, that could have just been me because hmm. mm-hmm. I put sure. a, one video up that month. <laughs> I got hit, guys. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, they got me. Oh, man. Stupid, got me. stupid Pepsi. What about you, Jack? I didn't... I Luckily... For whatever reason, I did not feel it. Wow, I, I know you guys have that family that friendly shit. That is so interesting. Shit. I well, I, I you think do. I don't know about you, but no, no it, yeah, it's a little bit of that. And I think I was somewhat protected by full screen as well. I think it was, really? it was, yeah, yeah. So, um, but um, I it still scared the shit out of me. Because for us, it dipped maybe like eighty percent down. Eighty from what it was in two weeks. Holy shit. God, yeah. And we were posting. On, we were on schedule, so yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So it's not that. When yeah. did you? When did you rally? What do you mean? I mean, like, what do you mean? Yeah. Well, from the so you, 
80%. When did it get better? Yeah, when oh, it, yeah. it gradually got a yeah, little better in yeah. the past like month or two. Past, yeah. and it's probably it's probably at about like seventy percent of where it was last year, which is like obviously I'm really happy that we're just making money now right. again. But for a minute, but, I was like, all right, well, yeah, time, <laughs> time to, to fucking work. regroup. <laughs> is Pepsi yeah. hiring? Or? Yeah, Pepsi, what <laughs> right. what's up? What are you guys doing? What's your What's your guys' upload schedule these days? Is it once a week, or is it a couple times a week, or does it vary? It's, it's been um, It's been like once a week. Once a week. Okay. But we also do this once a week. So right, of course. Yeah, different so channels, yeah. but yeah. like... Yeah. And the Twitch. And in, a, in a perfect world, I'd like to upload like three times a week. Of course. Well, but, you were, I, I noticed you guys were doing... We were for a while. Yeah, which yeah. was blowing my mind because you guys don't make the daily kind of content. I mean, as in like the... Con it's not what you would expect to see mm -hmm. three or four or five times a week. So that was Well, it was crazy. unhealthy. And that's kind of yeah. what I'm, I'm making conscious. And it was conscious. all we were doing. Like we yeah. were... You don't have a life yeah. outside of it. Yeah. No, totally I, get that. So that I'm making a conscious conscious effort these mm -hmm. days to kind of balance my work and mm -hmm. personal life because mm -hmm. it's just That's not healthy smart. like yeah. you have that you have that feeling like oh i'm not fucking working today. yeah but ethan it's all about that fucking grind though <laughs> don't you want to just don't you want to just strongest ride at the top army, man strongest army in the world <laughs> the rise of the poles draining. are you guys following the rise of the poles yeah i was gonna ask i try honestly <laughs> i do and i don't i try to ignore it <laughs> until it pops up on fucking moments on twitter yeah. then i can't but like Otherwise, I am blissfully really? ignorant. Well, I try because because if I do see it, then I'll obsess yeah. over the numbers and, the numbers and be upset and be like, God, damn, how are they getting for it? Yeah, oh, I know. <laughs> guess I know. how many views Jake Paul had in the past three or months? 30 days. Past 30 days. Yeah. Guess. What is your guess? No, I, I know what it is. 60 yeah, is. million. Oh, I'm a sweet kid. You're a sweet kid. 60? 60? So oh, you're my low? You're, you're cute. You're cute. You're a sweet kid. Try again. I don't know the analytics, guys. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I actually do know. I'm the reason for it. Yeah. 380 <laughs> closer really over four right it was yeah. 400 uh, 480 four, 480, 480. Jesus. Sorry, it's almost a billion, billion. Views i am month. so fucking glad i don't have kids that's all i can say about that yeah well, that's what i said in our videos can like, you imagine like your, your kids like I can cannot. you take me to jake paul's house and they do yeah. and they do what that, parents here do. write yeah. your name that's on this on this wall up. that's messed they up. what do. happened to parents like it, Forget about talking what I, happened to kids these days. What happened to have, parents these days? None of us have kids. I think we're underestimating how annoying kids are. <laughs> it's like, fine. Oh, my God. Fine, oh, my God. Fine. I hope he takes yeah. you. We'll fucking go to Jake Paul's house. Just go house. and yeah. stay and, with him. Uh, exactly. And they're like, you know what? Yeah. yeah. Go, go, <laughs> go tag the up their wall. Go destroy their house. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Buy fucking school. You shut up. <laughs> oh, I saw God. A I'm going to be great dad. Yeah. Can't wait. They, somebody should set up a webcam outside his house. That's just shows like parents love. like tossing kids out the window. A 24 7 stream. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> before he does. Oh, because you know he will. Come on, do it before he yeah. does. Someone, please. Someone I out there. I love that idea That's so much. Let's, let's copyright that right now and sue him if he, if he does it. Let's oh, put a patent on, yeah. on live streaming outside let's Team go. 10. Tomorrow is already going to have a whole channel. Team 12. Yeah. Team 12 News. Well, we record the Team outside 12? of our you, house. Uh, <laughs> what, do you, what do you think his daily grind is? You think he wakes up and he's like, I just had an idea for a music video. <laughs> no, I think here's, no. there's there's shadowy elements behind that whole thing. Oh, yeah. They have huge Here we go. investors. He's Disney shit, Conspiracy right? Conspiracy theory. No, not Disney. That's a different meme. No, yeah. they actually have investors in Team they have, 10. Yeah, there's huge investors it's in Team 10. It's a whole business. And Team model. 10 is owned by some shadowy investors and Jake Paul. Although I don't know how much Jake Paul does, but yeah. apparently he's the CEO. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so what they do is it's like a incubation chamber for fuckboys. Right, of course. And so they bring them into this house. <laughs> so they buy them. They own these people essentially. Gosh. They're like, and they're like, here, here's a camera. Here's how you vlog. Do it daily. We own you. Yeah, you they have do. to do it daily. You know they're banging. They're like, you're a hot little twink. <laughs> Oh, they fuck. They're, they're they banging <laughs> the shit out of these guys. That's it's a bunch that's of fat required. cats like in the other room. You know, oh, filled with the cigar new, smoke. That's too real. Send in Jacob. This that, is the new you know American what? That, story. that is actually cult. too real. This is what it's about, right? <laughs> that's Team 10 cult. Okay. That's how you'll know when YouTube has made it to the level of Hollywood. When yeah. you find out that Jake Paul was sucking some old dude's <laughs> dick. Oh, God. And you're like, all right, we made it, yeah. you guys. <laughs> we elevated. Guy, um, the O Town guy, the guy who like founded NSYNC and all these boy bands. Oh, yeah. The big fat guy. He's a, he's a real. He's got a lot of rumors about him. Actually. Well, he was. Wait, and then he, were they sucking? I think he killed himself. What? Really? Yeah. No. Um, I think he did in jail. Um, Lou, oh, in jail. Lou something, right? Really? Yeah. What's the story with this guy? Yeah. He, well, he was, honestly, okay, so he was this very sleazy, um, I don't know what his role was in the founding of all these boy bands, but he helped, whether it was um, a produ uh, production or something behind the scenes. Hmm. But he kind of like helped build in sync in O-Town like mm. making the band oh. that big reality show from god the late 90s early O's mm. you know he was a key figure and all of that um, but there I, Lance Bass you know former in sync member once had a, a horror story where 
I think he went up to, I'm going to butcher this, but he went up to <laughs> Lou and he, and so Lou's like, you want to be a big star, right? So Lance is like, I guess. And so, and so I think he undid, Lou un, undid his fly. No. And he said, you know what to do. And no. just shit like that, stories like that are not uncommon with this character. So, But then he was also running this big Ponzi scheme or some pyramid scheme. Mm. Um, like uh, the Backstreet Boys talked about it in there. I, I know way too much about boy bands, man. I love it. Uh, but um, I love the, the seedy yeah. side of it. This is like oh oh, there's this whole weird dark thing. Shit. Yeah. So the Backstreet Boys in their heyday when they're selling out arenas and shit, they weren't really getting paid wow. accordingly. Not well. I mean, like, they were getting paid, but it didn't add up. It didn't add up. It wasn't enough. Um, obviously, Lou was you know kind of kind of holding on to something, and then finally it was revealed that you know he's running this big scheme. So mm-hmm. they sent his ass to prison, and I think he died in prison. And he was banging them. So he was scamming them. I'm not gonna say he was he banging was them, but he was trying metaphorically and, and was, literally. Yeah, he was <laughs> kind of banging them. That's what, what Hollywood's all about. Yeah. I think it's a matter of time until that happens in like Team Ten or something. <laughs> no, I, you're right. Yeah. You're right. We're not talking no. about the. No, I think you're right but though. The, yeah. Mon- yeah. the pyramid scheme. That's pretty much. This what This is doing. what we're yeah. seeing, and that's why I'm so fascinated by Jake and Logan Paul and Team Ten is because. I on YouTube has never seen anything like this before. The ra- like Jake and Logan Paul, they're like rapper status at this point. Yeah. Like they roll around with posse's. They have investors as big, you know. The investors thing is blowing yeah. my they mind do. right okay. now. Okay, and yeah. like they have mm-hmm. like you've seen the music videos. Like the unfortunately, content's, the content's garbage, but they're shot and edited yeah. very well. It's and built it, on the backs of a lot of people with like drones for cheap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's just like hey, drones fifty bucks and uh, fly your drone over my house, mm-hmm. and it just yeah. no right. matter what, it's gonna look beautiful good. shots. I will give them. But that. The, they yeah. have a team. They don't. They don't. These guys don't edit anything. They don't. They probably don't even know how they to don't? edit. Of course no, not. Don't. Of course. Okay. No. 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 Seriously. Okay, yeah, I don't know if that was ironic. Okay. I know. I know. It was very okay. dry. But I'm. I'm actually surprised. No. They, they don't, don't touch so shit. I shouldn't be surprised though. Jake Paul on recently on his second channel, he uploaded a reaction to our reaction to his video. Okay. And I love and, it. and others. It? I kind of want to watch it. Not just to us, but anyway, he reacted to videos about his everyday bro. Yeah. And the way that video is made. Really shows you can tell. his skill set. It's they're basically just sitting at a table. The sound is awful. Let's show it. I'm gonna watch. They're it. just watching the video on a laptop, uh-huh. and there's no cuts. It's not even edited. No, I want to watch so, it. Yeah. Oh, that's the same. They, they forgot to edit out the part at the end where a guy named Lou comes in and. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know you what to do. <laughs> All right, um, fellas. I want you guys to watch this because we thought about check in here for <laughs> yeah, yeah. We thought about making an H3 video about it, but it was just so obscenely. Oh God. It's like it's, so obvious. It's gonna make so me dumb. so mad. It's so dumb. And that's how they get views. Well, I get just it. this for me is like a good insight to what he's actually capable of sure. making yeah. content wise. First off, this is really well lit. I like their uh, their idea board on the back. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me that's, just fast. That's him trying to write a script. <laughs> <laughs> he reacts to PewDiePie, but I'm gonna get uh, to. Jake, this makes no sense. <laughs> right, it's like a Mario level. No, he no, like, stuck my dick. You don't fucking get it, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, here it is. Yada yada yada. <laughs> now that's some stupid hair. You know, I always think about Jake How's Paul. How's the sound for you? <laughs> <laughs> First off, because it's recording the sound off a tinny laptop yes, speaker. Yes, <laughs> it Sounds great. Team 10, your budget is showing. I don't understand. So well. Why would they do that? Because he clearly synced the video up to what they're watching, but they took the audio, oh, they took the audio out in favor of right, the right, shitty... Right, the, the, the room sound. Like the microphone that's like 10 feet away. It's, it's so good. They're like, dude, it's free reverb. <laughs> it's free reverb. <laughs> Don't underestimate the quality of reverb. It's practical effects. It's practical effects. George Lucas would be happy. Hold on, I want to predict what he's going to say. I want to predict what he's... I want him to say something like, Yo, what the fuck is he even wearing, man? He looks like such a tool, man. He looks so fucking gay. All right, cool. So I think you're going to be disappointed because this is what he says. This is what he says. Oh, here we go. Oh, so so Jinx level (laughs) of reaction. reaction. Nice. (laughs) Cool, cool. (laughs) Got it. I can't even hear the video over like all the static No, it's so bad. He forgot that this is being recorded. He thinks Jesus he's just Christ, watching YouTube is, yeah. videos. So the vi- the whole video is unedited, not even a single fucking cut. 
Why you can't do it? that. I mean, you can. <laughs> well, because, you, can. you know, Jake Pollard's are the strongest in the world, but... <laughs> Oh that my makes God! Sense, though. Like, 750, is, is he 000. have them all queued up and he's just like control tabbing or? Oh, How's oh, he dude, watching dude, dude, he didn't say it was Jake Paul too. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's Jake a Paul second yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, don't have to edit on this second channel. Yeah, 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 okay, oh, fine, okay. fair. All the quality like, goes okay, in uh, Jake Paul one. Just, I, that's okay. fair. That's fair. I was Not, afraid that maybe he was just staring at a You're overthinking it. Yeah, what are you? They're overthinking this shit. That's what we do. <laughs> and coming comment to one. And coming comment one. Thank you. After your body was shut down by Twitter, <laughs> they were displaced across the globe, taking YouTube and Instagram by storm with their fresh original content. I mean, it's true. Like, I think that was trying to be a diss, but that's literally what happened. But perhaps this man. That's literally what happened. Three months. And he said fresh original content. Yeah, I agree with that. Did he just say I passed this man in three months? He did say that. He, he did is such say a cool. That. I want to have a beer with him. He seems like a really cool, <laughs> humble guy. Is he old enough to drink? No, no he's I think he's, he's one not. year shy. He's right? Not. Making fun Amazing. of a kid right now? Yeah, he's twenty. He's, he's not definitely a getting banged. By the way, if he's not old enough to drink, <laughs> he's, oh, he's someone's Thank banging God. him God. right this now. Are you serious? Are you talking about an old man? Old oh man yeah, man? old man's banging him. You know what I love about Jake? Because he he acts like he's a sex icon. But here's what I I like. I mean, look at him. This might be below the belt. But look how he's <laughs> look how he's pushing the hair over his forehead, like dude knows he's going bald. And in don't th- worry, in three get, years you'll get hair plugs. In three years, he can be completely bald, and no little girls will want to milk his prostate. You know what, Ethan? That It'll is a low fine. blow. How fucking dare you? He's and a me- pretty boy. And meanwhile, good looking fella. You just want to show off the what you up? Got hair. <laughs> What up, pimps? <laughs> it's, it's probably a low blow, but I take somehow I revel in the fact that I know he's gonna, he's already going bald. Hey, Jake, yeah. it happens to the best of us, okay, buddy? <laughs> Don't even worry about it, all right? It's well, inevitable. It's you fact may, of life. You may want to brush that forehead a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. Dude, I'm fucking trying, all right? Come on. <laughs> First of all, I think a, a receding hairline is dignified and beautiful in your case. Thank, thank I love you. It. What but a lovely compliment. Jake is, you know. You don't even have a receding hairline. You just you got hair for days, man. I just I have a, got too much hair. I have hair mask. It's a secret. <laughs> oh, hair. Oh, okay, that's it. Hair mask. The hair. The secret. Oh, dude, you get, this no. thing is a curse. I don't like it. You could no. shave like three pineapples what? into that. I, I could literally like sew a fucking sweater from this. Yeah. I'm like a summer <laughs> sheep. I think you should. I need to get bed, I need to get sheared. <laughs> anyway. Or else you die. That's what happens to those sheep. <laughs> they, the back they do. They that's a defect, you. by the way. Oh, abs- that's evolution, like, taking a wrong... Where's God? Wrong fu- <laughs> Where's God, sheep? <laughs> he abandoned them years ago. Man. Uh, but back to Jake Paul. Yeah, what yeah. a what a charmer. Anyway, we what don't a charmer. Need, I, sp- I feel like I spent way too much time talking about Jake Paul, but it's, like, so fucking... Well, it's it's, it's kind of hard getting... not to talk about it. It's, like... Yeah. I mean, it's a hot button thing. Too, like, so it's not like we're, yeah. you know. six months from now we'll be talking about someone else. You know, the new, the next guy. Well, well but, and the thing I always say about Jake Paul is like, thank God for him, because YouTube for me, as a professional shit talker and complainer, I was running out. The pranksters were dead. Yeah, you know, I was running out. Running out of, out of fodder. People to, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm like, oh god damn, boy. You've got YouTube like a Renaissance. Quantum it's right? Christmas, baby. In this guy. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? Christmas every day with him. The energy mm-hmm. crisis every day, bro. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But there's been some interesting developments I want to tell you guys about. Here we go. So in his, you guys saw the news report where he was putting it. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. So now, essentially, in his vlogs, he's accused his neighbors. First, his neighbors, he made a video apologizing to them, but he recorded it without telling them. And then he posted it to his YouTube channel. As you know, in California, that's illegal. Right. They have a, you can't, you need their consent. They were in the cup. video? They were yeah. in the video. He didn't tell them. He didn't get their consent. And he oh put it in his blog. The nice guy's work. such an idiot, right? Yeah. Nice so work. now they're filing a com- an eavesdropping complaint against him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then now the same news guys is covering this story. <laughs> and then God. it gets better. It gets yes. better. Then in the next vlog, he says he accused his neighbors of trying to kill him. Unironically, yeah. he accused his neighbors of going up to their Team 10 van and unbolting the tires that resulted in a crash. And he says, "My neighbors literally tried to kill me." Even though uh, is that the title? Of the, is that the th- um, the title of the video? No, my no. neighbors literally tried to kill I me. I wish it was in parentheses. <laughs> yeah, something. The, yeah. the actual Christ. title was something like, "My wife is leaving me." In parentheses, said. <laughs> <laughs> I love now. By the way. <laughs> We need cues. That's the real title. You need cues. I forgot he's married. Yeah, good on him. Yeah. Yeah, exa- the new Way thing. Yeah. The new thing on Christ. YouTube is like t- 
telling you what kind of emotion you should yeah. be feeling. Right, right, right. Or right. not clickbait is a hot one now, too. Not clickbait. Just so you know. Oh, that's right. Unlike yeah. seven, 95% of my God. videos that are clickbait. Right. <laughs> this right. time I'm serious. This time, no, no, no. It's not a gag, guys. It's not clickbait. All right. There's another. I don't know that I can tell. There's another thing that's even better than all that, but I don't think I can talk about it yet. Yeah, we should say, we should wait and see how it's things. the best. Yeah, hold on to that juice. Yeah. yeah. I'll yeah, tell yeah. you guys yeah. off. Don't blow off it on air. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 tell us after. I'll tell you after. Sure. Yeah. After. Yeah. yeah. We can cut this short. I mean, we just. Fuck it. Is there a TGF Fridays right here? There's got to be. On me. And apps. <sighs> anyway, so that's up with me. Oh, that was, a fun, that was a really fun little <laughs> rabbit hole. I yeah. like that. Yeah. I, that's, I, that shit's so interesting. You know, it's, there's definitely yeah. like a like a, a sort of the reason people watch TMZ and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, for, absolutely. We so, love it's to so hate. outside our <laughs> world. Like, yeah. Oh, uh, they set their pool on fire. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. My neighbor's never done that. <laughs> right. Right. The the flames reached higher than the house. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Those poor fucking neighbors, yeah. man. Seriously, I do feel for. How them. are you gonna? And the thing that when he's like, my neighbors tried to kill me to all of his right. five million dumbass fans who are even dumber than he is. Right. Imagine how dumb Jay. Jake Paul is divide by half. That's how dumb his fans are. Whoa, just half? Come on, man. That fraction's smaller than I that. I mean, that's barely functioning. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like struggling to breathe. Well, what got me, and we were talking a little bit about this beforehand, was just the fact that a he has his um, address, you know, publicly exactly. available yeah. um, to to Google and look up, and b that 12, 11, 10 year old girls are outside it at all times. Yeah, all times. That's Creepy as fuck. Yeah, yeah, we we even got an email. That. Tell no, them about the no, email no. from the neighbor. Wait, we got an email from his neighbor? Or someone who f- knows a neighbor and there was a quote from the neighbor. You don't remember? We, uh, no. We got an email from someone saying, I know the neighbor who live ac- across the street from him. And they're like, at, I'm there right now. It's 12.30 p.m. And there's like 30 girls outside his house right now. <laughs> Wait, I like, didn't read that. I want that neighbor on. Oh, crap. Yeah, we yeah. have it in Next our guest. Email. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. The neighbors are losing it and but for th- a good okay, reason. so imagine now <laughs> that that's your reality. Yeah. And now he's saying they tried to kill me. And then so imagine what his insane fans are going to do when they think that that person is trying to murder gonna their idol. They're going to fight the idol. fucking neighbors, dude. They're going to vandalize their house. They're going to yeah. break the windows. They yeah. may they're probably going to kill them. And how honest. does he know that the neighbors did it? He doesn't. The address is public, so that's anyone, dangerous. Right. anyone they, could yeah, have done they it. They made their address public. That's yeah. got to be the stupidest thing <laughs> you can do. That's pretty, that's so pretty fucking stupid. low. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is now I've seen pictures of the front of the house since all this shit's gone down, and it's just so vandalized. Yeah. I know. There's, like, graffiti on the garage. Oh, People yeah. are signing the wall. And oh, the, the Team 10 house? Yeah, yeah. The thing is, so the investors own the house, right? So that's why they're not being evicted. And that's why they're uh, like, I'm, go- I'm oh. just going to flip and ship it. Or whatever he says. <laughs> My neighbors hate me, but I'm just going to flip gonna and ship it. it. Yeah. We got a room in the back that we really need to hose down, but <laughs> once that happens, we're out of here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't mean anything by that. <laughs> oh, Jake knows what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, uh, the whole thing is just, it's fascinating. It's all new. Yeah. It's it, all wild. And it's so, yeah. it, it's so much to fucking keep up with because it's, <laughs> it's, it's a new story. Every day, yeah. Every and day, I bro. Hate that that's a meme. I hate that that's. It's a fucking every meme. day, bro. With that Disney Channel, fl- I get that song stuck in my head and perpetuity. See, that's perpetuity. why he wins. That's why he wins. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I dislike it very much. But which, he, he, he thrives off the hatred. He mm-hmm. thrives. Which off is it. good. I prefer that than getting defensive. You know, it's healthy. That's it's true. very healthy to thrive off. I wish I could talk about that other thing. Oh, I'm not going to. I'll take it off. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh. You tease, you tease. So what, if, I got a question for you guys to fucking pivot hard off this subject. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> we close the case on this. Let's take a fucking hard left turn yeah. and hopefully not flip. <laughs> I mean, for me, YouTube's such an emotional roller coaster. Like, do you have these, like, emotional ups and downs? I mean, it seems like you, you're just chilling. You don't fucking care about anything. You no, just, man, like, it's all it's fucking all good. <laughs> big money to me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? But, any, but like, for, you've been in the game. You upload... It's like very frequently. For me, it's like this constant emotional roller coaster of trying to be like sane. I get like yes. super depressed. Yeah. I, I have like I feel like bipolar because you have like these super mm-hmm. highs when you have a good video that people like and do well, and you have super lows mm-hmm. when you make a video that people don't like or you're not posting enough videos. And it's like, how do you navigate that space and stay sane? I struggle. Uh, yeah, I struggle with that a lot because it's it's you go through 
inspirational cycles, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So it's like there are some days where I'm really fucking pumped. Like, oh, I got the best idea ever. And I pace the house, you know, right. talking to myself, right. trying to flesh out the joke and the right. bits and everything and how it's going to be edited and all that stuff. And, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm making myself laugh and crack up. Like, mm-hmm. okay, this is good. And I write it down. Then you have the days where you got nothing and you're running on empty, you know, and those days really suck. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I, like, there's not much I can do. I I scream at my poor dogs. Like, I'm so <laughs> I'm so happy that my fiance, Aaron, um, has an office job <laughs> so that I can have the house to myself and just go bonkers with my with just this whole self-conflict. It's, it's a lot of self-doubt, too. I've been mm-hmm. working on this this joke that I just don't want to film because I don't know if it's funny enough. Mm. And you have this self-doubt. Like, it, mm-hmm. it's is worst. it funny? Is it funnier on paper rather than if I flesh it out and film it and stuff? And it's just all this, like, it, I keep saying self-doubt because mm-hmm. that's really what it is. It's like, I don't know <clears throat> if it's funny. And I don't know if they're going to think it's funny. So I don't do it. Then nothing mm-hmm. gets made. And then, and then you know, people are pissed off. It's like, where the fuck is Yai? And I'm like, I don't want to make Yai, dude. <laughs> fuck Yai. I want to make something that, I, you know, something different. Or sometimes I do want to make Yai if it's like, if it's an inspired episode mm-hmm. where I'm actually putting a lot of energy into. Mm-hmm. Um, like you said, highs and lows, ups and downs. There's, I, I don't know. I haven't found a way to like cope with that. I'll be honest. I don't. Mm-hmm. There's no I easy go to solution where it's like, oh, I know what to do. I don't know what to do. Yeah. I have good days where I'm inspired. I have bad days where there's just nothing in the tank mm-hmm. and it sucks. And hopefully you have a backlog like, well, maybe I can upload a best of something mm. on those days. But it's I, there's no it's, easy solution. It's tough. You know, like thinking back when I worked in an office shop for five years, I didn't have these fucking manic yeah twists to my life <laughs> yeah it's an interesting point. and then you come you come home and you're done with I'm work done, and I you're sit done home. <laughs> turn off you know you turn like off. everyone like okay first of all yes i'm doing my dream job people are like stop yeah. complaining <laughs> right but yeah, like yeah. you need i think it's important to be like it's, this is not that i mean emotionally the, it's really yeah challenging. that's the problem it's it's more than complaining it's you can kind of lose your mind so yes you can it's, yeah. absolutely you can, you can fall into yourself yeah. doing this stuff pretty easily because there's nobody okay. to tell you what to do it's like I could fall into those eyes of yours. Fall into I'm being really fall deep into that. But you want to join Team Hey, I make one salient point. I'm talking about this kid getting. Yeah, fuck off. You're not real. <laughs> you can't get real on the show. Like this show. You're comedic, kid, <laughs> man. With your pineapple hair. You know, you know? Oh, shit. Tweet, tweet to Ted Cruz. That's what. That's what you know. Where's my dance for me? Phone? Dance for me. Um, no, not, no. It's yeah. it, it is a thing though. Like yeah. um, you know, uh, you could do you could. Start having your own inside jokes where you're like, oh, people want these inside jokes of mine. 100%, yes. But then, yes. like, you, there's other people who are like, why does he keep saying the same things yeah. over Right, over? it alienates the new viewers, yeah. and you don't want to do that. But you want to yeah. keep the old-timers yeah. happy, so you got to include that. Right. It's this give and take, this balance. Like, and the comments get in your head. Do you yeah. get the comments? Oh, the comments. Oh, I mean, I get head. called a, a fat, sweaty piece of shit, but <laughs> I know that they mean it with love. I, I, I might stoke those flames somehow. I don't know. <laughs> the... Well, those comments don't bother me as much as, yeah, like, that's, uh, more, that's more like... People fun. saying, like, we don't like them anymore, or, like, they Or, like, this not... channel has gone to shit. Yeah. That's the worst one. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, yep. I but, relate. But like, who it are they? Shouldn't, it shouldn't bother me, but it does. Yeah. Cause, well, those are, the, when, in a sea of 15,000 comments per video or what have you, those oh, are the yeah. ones that, it sucks, on they stand out. You don't yeah, remember the I good know. ones. You don't, it's yeah. so Cause sick. Because they're, they're like, for one of those, there are 20 like, yeah. it's yo, so Ethan, Mila, I really got to say, saved you guys helped me. you my life. Yeah, you <laughs> helped me through and some really one, tough times. It's but so you don't remember those. You remember the like, man, I remember when Ethan and Mila were funny. It's so sick Well, that's true. It's got to be something like, it's probably always been that way for entertainers. You just mm, never yes. have a, a open forum right like below f- the content <laughs> where you yeah. can see what people think on, in an anonymous right. way. You know, right. like uh, I always try to imagine like comment section under like Netflix or something. Yeah, <laughs> like Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, um, that would God. be insane. The, the Bill Nye Show. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> mess. If, there were, if there was live comments, comments under like Jimmy Fallon live, that guy wouldn't go to work anymore. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that guy would have quit years ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god I saw the best tweet today that totally made fun of, that totally ripping on Fallon it was um, like the, in the, the context of the tweet um, OJ was his guest and so OJ's like man I just, I just wait really jo- OJ was his guest already no no no, no the, I was like, a yeah, tweet was fast. talking oh, okay. about like you know if he were on the show oh, now yeah. that he's you know uh, 
So the the tweet was like he's talking to Fallon, he's saying like, yeah, Jimmy, I just really want to talk about blah blah blah. And then Fallon's like, ha, ha, that's great, man. But now we're gonna play a game called Get That Juice, <laughs> and it was perfect. It was yeah. so that's like funny. just essence in a box. It was so like, oh, and it sucks because I that's gotta hurt him. It, well, yeah. I loved Fallon growing up on like '90s and early O's SNL. I loved when he broke character and laughed. I really, I know, I know a lot of people hate when he does all like, <laughs> hey, it worked for him. And it, it's worked for him. And when he and Horatio Sands were buddy buddy on SNL, like, oh, they would just destroy every sketch they were in, and mm. the sketch was instantly better. So this is a weird the sketch. Tangent. Wasn't that good to begin with? Let's it, be honest. Really, SNL has a nice habit of dragging on sketches for way too long. They always have, and that especially then. But um, it just kind of like he gets memed on, and he kind of deserves it. Let's be real. It's just yeah. everything's a you know, everything's a game. Celebrity celebrity beer pong, you know. Mm -hmm. But he just he <laughs> really know? embodies this like fake niceness. 100%. Yeah, that's yeah. the one thing. He's way I... too fucking happy go lucky. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he gets off. Every off movie every is night, the best. Strangles movie. a puppy. You yeah. know he, you know he, he does. He probably rapes a puppy. <laughs> rapes a puppy. Puts his dick right in there. You heard it here, guys. To death. On the H3H3 podcast. Team, <laughs> sponsored by Team 10. <laughs> sponsored by Team 10. <laughs> Somehow they're involved. <laughs> <laughs> they supply the puppies. They've got they've got a puppy mill. That's why they got that big house. You know do you, they do. Do you feel that though, Eric, or are you like more chill? Uh, oh, you mean what just we're talking about in like terms the ups of like and downs of yeah, the ups and downs. Absolutely, because like you know, I'm not. I made a joke earlier where I said my upload schedule sucks because I'm just sitting around drinking, playing video games. But I'm like, I've got Google Docs open in front of me, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm writing this thing, and I'm like, is this funny? Yeah, yeah. I honestly can't yeah. tell, and I'll like read it out loud to myself, yeah. and I right. go, mm, that wasn't funny, but I don't know how to fix it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then I'll just absolutely. delete it. Or not that's, delete it, but I'll just go on to something else. Right. What do I want to make? And that, that, that's something that hits me is like you're working super hard, mm -hmm. but you have nothing to show for it. Yes. Yeah. yeah I, I complain that exact point to Aaron just about every night. I say <laughs> those literal words. I got nothing to show for it, you know. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and and she'll always provide a very strong counter argument. And I go, you're right, honey. Yeah, <laughs> but you. God bless you. Got, you know, no, she um, – <laughs> But um, Would, that's so true, and it's so frustrating because then you know, then you don't upload that week yeah. or a couple a lot, couple of days, and people think you're lazy. Like, yeah. where the fuck is my content? Where's yeah. my where's my free content? I'm I so, pay uh, good money for this free yeah. content. Well, I'm so envious of people who just like turn on the camera, and like, all right, well, fucking, hey, how you doing? I'm gonna fuck around, and there you go. I'm not even gonna look at it. It's up now, and people love it. But I think that's the obstacle that I'm trying to get over. Where it's like, I found that when I have that self doubt, and I'm like, this isn't funny. Fuck this. Mm -hmm. That ninety percent of the time, people love it. Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. our new video about Jake Paul. Yeah. We didn't even want to post it. Me, mostly. Well, I mean, I felt I understood what no, you're I saying. But I'm like, I'm always the one who's like, let's not upload it. Like, mm. let's let's just. That's interesting. Delete it. Are delete you thinking it. about like the reaction when you say that, or is it more like you you watch I, it and you're like, oh, I don't know it's about both. this on its, its own. Both, it's both. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's both. I don't think, I, I can't even trust my judgment anymore. Abyss. I always yeah. think everything is not good, and then I'm like, but people are not going to like it. And mm. That's it's, interesting. So my attitude yeah. to counter hers is just like, yeah. we did our best. This is our video for the week. Yeah. If people don't like it, yeah. they understand, and they want something. So I'm not going to like throw away. Like, I, I, yeah. I used to go And he's usually right. Like, we, we, we upload the video, and then... If and they I, love it. Yeah, and then yeah. if I watch it in, like, two months, I'm fine with it, and I laugh at it, and uh -huh. I think it's... Oh, good. that's interesting. <laughs> when, just, you, when you're looking at the one you guys are working time. on now... Yeah. It's just got to like, incubate. It's not as good as that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's just got to, yeah. yeah. Age, like, fine rosé. Cheddar. Yeah. Fine well, that, cheddar. That does help to, like, walk away from something. I've done that a couple mm -hmm. times. Yeah, like yeah. Like, the, the, I just did a one on music videos. I, yeah. And I had had that written for, like, months. Uh, Hot Dad, oh. the guy who does my theme song. Hot Love Dad. Shout out to my boy Shout Hot Dad. Shout out to Hot oh, Dad. Yeah, he's amazing. Awesome. He's, 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 made some he's the best. best. He's made some music for us. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know that we ever Maybe he's it, the shadow master behind the scenes. Hot Dad's I can so everywhere. That, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> like, music and videos. He's a smart guy. He's a smart dad. Yeah, like, he had made that cover a long time ago when I told him about the idea and like like I told him about the idea and uh, a week later he was like alright I did it it's wow. done I got this song ready uh, when are you putting yours up and I was like whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey man I don't even know if I'm making it or that's not. so cool yeah. <laughs> and I, I edited that fucking thing I wanted that thing to go up last week on Monday and it took me until like two days ago to actually finish it just yeah. editing like staring yeah. at it like this isn't that's funny. where our time goes I need yeah. to fix this this is not good I cut like Five minutes out of that, wow. and it was still ten <laughs> minutes long. Wow. Uh, so I, I don't know. Yeah. What I, what's worked for me that I suggest, and obviously it's hard to take yeah. advice on this level, but a big change for me 
was when I just stopped. I'm like, I'm not going to get caught up on this because the nature of YouTube, you know, we're not making a show on television where you yeah. you exactly. spend a year on 10 episodes. And Very true. You just like got to fucking do got to let it yeah. just let it go. Let it live its own life and move on. The nature mm-hmm. of YouTube is very stream of conscious. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it it's is. like mm-hmm. there's it a reason is. vlogs are so yeah. prevalent on there because it's just, hey guys, here's what I'm doing today. Yeah. Right. That or shit doesn't matter. That's well, the reason later. Snapchat's popular too. It's mm-hmm. it's stream. That's a perfect analogy. Stream yeah. of consciousness, spur yeah. of the moment. I it's, think. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I, for me, getting over that hangup was was like really mm-hmm. was really big for us. And like I said, I think you'll be surprised how many times you put out a video you're not happy with. Because just in the in the spirit of I'm just gonna let this go, mm-hmm. and it does great, and everyone loves it, and nobody even sees what you were worried about. Yeah, there's a little something about it that like has a, a magical ingredient in it because you hate it so much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is? Absolutely. Right. And you're just like, well, this sucks. This is gonna do terrible. Right. And well, but the, it's always got your essence in it. Like as yeah. long as yeah. what you're putting out is you. You if, know what I mean? Yeah. It's like because that's why people ultimately subscribe to channels, not really yeah. for the content, but for the the personality in the content. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, like, yeah, it, it, content's got to be good too, but it's also like they like your take on things. Yeah. You know, they like yeah. you and they they want you to be part of their life. Yes. So it's like, yes. here's my here's the best. This sorry guys is the best I could do this week. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think that if you really are like struggling with something that you're working on, you're gonna put way more work into that and have a much more polished. End product and something that you loved. That is from true. the start because so you'd be true. like, "This is great." The way I did yeah. it the first time. That happens to us. But so people many watch times. it. You, then you watch that a week later, and you're like, "Oh, that sucked. <laughs> yeah. I should have done that better." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we, um, I'm gonna read these sponsors. Oh and yeah. Then after that, we'll take a short break, very short break, and then we have a new segment we're working on. What I'm very happy to include ooh, you guys in. Ooh. We have a. A news segment, offbeat news, some crazy wild news that our producer Dan, oh, the birthday nice. boy, is going to come read to us. Love it. And um, I'd love for you guys to be part of that. But if you Counts guys uh, want to take a break now, you don't you have to can. sit here for, the, don't for have this. To sit here. But you're welcome you to. Like I'm, I'm, you know, in for, I'm the penny. for the ride. <laughs> We're in for the long haul, yeah. baby. <laughs> All right, well, let's begin here with these guys. I got to thank our sponsors. They make the show possible. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have creamer in the office today to put in our coffee, <laughs> which is huge. We're really we're getting the luxuries of life here thanks to these guys and this whole damn show. So first off, me undies. Have you guys? Do you guys know about me undies? No. Can you tell us about me undies? Me undies <laughs> is made of every pair of me undies is sustainably sourced and made from micromodal. Micromodal, check that out. Give that a feel. Cup of feel, dude. Yeah, you up. know, if you put it against your face, oh, no, then you can really tell us soft it is. Oh my god. <laughs> my oh fa- my god. My, my favorite <laughs> thing about that's soft as hell, right? This is amazingly yeah, it's soft. Unbelievable fabric. What the hell? Uh, Jack, those are for you. Hold those up. Those are for you. <laughs> it must be my birthday. I didn't realize they were this kind. <laughs> <laughs> those, those, those Going back you, to briefs, Eric. baby. This is what I'm talking about. And they actually Yeah. Here, this one's for you. What I do love nice. about them. I got a pair for you. I do like the colorful designs. Oh, thank you. Take that home. Thank you. Unworn. Unworn. <laughs> thank, oh, great, great. This really will hug the undercarriage. That is some. That'll take care yeah. of you. This yeah. is, On those hot summer LA days. <laughs> gotta be German engineering in <laughs> these <laughs> things. <laughs> what? What, a, what even? Well, yeah, they're just. Uh, they fast. They make the best cars. Yeah. They make the, you know. The best, best, the best <laughs> modal. <laughs> the best micro modal. So, this is some great, colorful. It's probably the most comfortable underwear you can get. They don't also have underwear. They have shirts and sweaters made of this mm-hmm. wonderful fabric. If you guys go to meundies.com slash H3, you can get 20% off your first pair plus free shipping. And if you don't love them, they're free. They used to have this promotion where you would ship back your used undies. And I love that. That's ingenious. And so, somehow, somehow I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> the first time we did them, we're like, all right, well. <laughs> they're gonna get your dirty undies if you don't like it. But now, now they switched it to their free. So if you don't like them, you get to keep them. I think that's a better choice Ooh. for everyone it's, involved. It's win-win. <laughs> yeah, all parties. But I, I personally, I love the heck out of, out of this product. They've been a huge sponsor, a great sport bus. So if you guys are in the market for some very comfortable, colorful, fun jubilee. It's a jubilee. Ooh. It's an underwear <laughs> jubilee. There's a word that needs way more play. It's a party downtown, but yeah. nice. So go to meandies.com slash H3. Get your free, or not free pair, sorry. Slow it down. 20% Slow it down. off. <laughs> free shipping, though. All right. Thank you to MeUndies. Thank you, you guys. Oh, Thank yeah. you for the free me undies. Should I send you this when it's dirty? Yes, yeah, send that to me. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's uh, right. My mailman hates that. <laughs> 
just you don't you don't even package it. You All put a low. label on it and you <laughs> just say, to go? There you go. That's so cool. Send it back. Wow. And wow. Know. Sharpie. Next up, we've got Audible. Who doesn't love Audible? Who among us does not love Audible? Can't think of a single person. <laughs> no, I am dry. So Audible, if you guys don't know, is the biggest supplier of audio books. They've got everything you could dream of. And I mean, first of all, beyond having a great product, they are such a great supporter of online content. Mm -hmm. They've seriously yeah. one of the original champions of supporting content creators. That's and for true. that, I love them. Um, but like if you're exercising, you're gaming, you're oh, in yeah. team, if you're camping out Team 10, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you got to listen to something. <laughs> you, you got to listen to something. Put this on. It's going to make it 10 times better. I mean, exercise is excruciating. I need something to take my mind off that shit. So I put on Audible. I've been jamming The Dark Tower, the original Dark Tower on Audible recently since the movie's coming out. Yeah. The Stephen King, you guys read that one? Mm -hmm. I've, yes, I've read I'm all the, uh, the have whole you? Dark Tower oh, series yeah? years ago. Nice. It's are you, good. Are you excited Fantastic. for the movie? I, I got high, ex high hopes. I got Me high too. Hopes. Me too. This is a long time coming. They've been working on this movie for, yeah. Nice. In the book, he's not, it's not a black, the, or I guess they don't talk about the They. I don't think they discuss the race, the race ever, but in all the illustrations, he is he is a white gunslinger, mm -hmm. but I mean like I'm, no, I'm it's all really for cool. some Idris, Idris yeah. Elba. I love him. Yeah. He, oh, he's uh, phenomenal. He's such From a wire. He's like one of my favorite characters. You can't go in the wrong wire. with him. He's so great. He's mm -hmm. great in everything. Yeah. I, I dare someone out there. To I dare point me. <laughs> Come on. To a time when he was not great. <laughs> well, okay. So I first saw him in The Wire, and he has like this incredible like Brooklyn accent. And he's, and then when I saw an interview with him, he has this thick English accent. It's always with those. Yeah, and he's always like, like fucking James Bond yeah. when he talks. Yeah, it's those English actors, they always pull one over me. I was like, mm -hmm. damn. Yeah. Like him too. Damn it's it. never the other way around. Like you never. <laughs> yeah. Never. Right. You're right. Like, never. I think <laughs> Elizabeth Moss might have been in a series, and Kate Winslet I think played like a British okay. lady in something. But like, and that's it. The, the that's two, two exceptions <laughs> to the rule. Two. Yeah. Meanwhile, so true. I feel like they're making fun of us when these English actors. Oh, yeah. like, oh we can put do it that on. better than they yeah. can, yeah. man. And I don't even notice. They don't even take so classes for it. Like, yeah. They're them. just like, yeah, that's easy. You just act <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Sound like an American. <laughs> so anyway, The Dark Tower is one of Stephen King's most prolific. It's a trilogy, right? Or is no, it even more? No, it's uh, one of seven. Oh, my God. Yeah, the Dark Knight series. Wow. Seven is this, are we in for like a new Harry Potter? If the movie does well. Ooh. Wow, that's exciting. We'll see. So, the dark, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, The Dark Tower is a great read and it's a great listen. If you go to audible.com slash H3 podcast. Get a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial. Check out The Dark Tower while you're exercising, camping out Team 10. You won't regret it. So if you're in the market for some undies, go to meundies.com. If you're in the market for an audiobook and some great free entertainment, you got nothing to lose. You don't have to send dirty undies back or anything in this <laughs> case. Or either in meundies, you get them for free there. Go to audible.com. podcast and get a free audiobook, The Dark Tower. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to you guys for doing that and supporting the show. We're going to take a quick, quick bathroom break, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we'll be back with the news. This is a great segment. This isn't just the news. I'm not talking about politics. These are offbeat stories that you will not want to miss. And if you leave, something terrible is guaranteed to happen to you. <laughs> yeah. Bizarre news, baby. Bizarre, Love baby. It. Okay, we'll be back in one short minute, guys. Don't Should go I pop away. This shirt? All right, guys, we are back with the H Street Podcast. We've got drinks on deck. And uh, before we go to the news segment, something really spicy just happened. So we're probably going to make a video about this, but Austin, Post Malone, texted me a couple days ago. And he's like, Jake Paul just showed up at my house. And I was like, how the fuck did that happen? And so Austin ordered Jake Paul merch, ironically, for a video we're going to make. And they took it very seriously. They missed the irony, which is fine because the tweet was pretty ambiguous. But the thing that was insane is that Jake Paul extracted his address from the merch company, which has got to be so illegal. He shows up at his house to hand deliver the merch. But here's the worst fucking part. He showed the front of his fucking house in his vlog. He filmed it and showed the front of his house. Oh. And I know he just moved too, which makes it even worse. Eric, you you described 
Um, what what would be your choice words for this? Uh, well, you know, I was thinking that maybe that wasn't quite legal. Sure mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm starting to think that maybe they're gonna have to start calling it Team Nine. Yeah, when Jake goes to prison. No, this is fucked up. Uh, like, it's yeah. fucking like everything ridiculous. he's done, like this man, this kid has no filter, he has no boundary. Yeah. That's it's it's but he's savage, idea. you know. He's just really cool and savage. <laughs> all right, and that's why and these savage. ten-year-old girls love him because he's just a savage boy. Yeah, I can't believe how fucked that this he just broadcasted. That's disgusting. Now, that's post, disgusting. post Malone, he's got that Vivo money, right? He's he's on that sure. Vivo shit. Don't yeah. fuck with Vivo; they're everywhere. Vivo will <laughs> fucking your Vivo will matchup. come to you. But I want to show you. I haven't watched this. It just got posted. And I've yeah. just heard about it, so I want to watch it for the first time. Yeah, I feel so bad for Austin. Yeah, his. Ha- I mean, you don't blur- do that. You just he, don't do that. Like he blurred the little yeah, on the curb, like the address. But you see it's the whole so front easy house to tell. and all this car. Of course, it's so easy. Yeah, to they tell. found that Shia LaBeouf flag out in the middle of a field in <laughs> yeah. fucking like Arkansas. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> through through the the jet contrails. <laughs> So when I found out about this from Austin, we were both like, this is so illegal and sketchy. But now that I'm seeing what he actually showed, I'm I'm actually outraged even more. He's going to have to take that down. He's going to have like, lawyers gonna, calling no, him. No, this video is going to be taken down. It's already been downloaded 80,000 times, In I'm fact, sure. let me download it. The damage. Yeah. 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 Let me keep 80,000 <laughs> <laughs> um, Hey, guys. Welcome to Team 9. I'm uh, Bill. <laughs> Team taking over for Jake. Team Cell He's like Nine. This 50-year-old man. <laughs> yeah, team Cell Nine. <laughs> Jake Paul, you better start sucking dicks now because that's the only thing that's gonna save you at this point. Dude, this kid is such a train wreck, man. This is so fucked up. It's it's you know it's a, it's a good lesson in what not to do. Yeah. So all those very, aspiring YouTubers very. out there. With hey, don't do that. If you're like an up and coming YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. Maybe don't show the fronts of houses of strangers, okay, especially so they if they're Vivo. It. Yeah, maybe don't let it get to your head so much that you blast somebody's address out All right, there. let's see what actually he put in his vlog. Well, first of all, let me say... Oh, I can't hear it. Do I need to turn up that too? I want to hear his creamy voice. <laughs> um, I've never heard yes, that yes. description for a voice before. It's creamy. I'm, I'm sorry. It's creamy. God damn it. Don't, maybe you shouldn't show the, that shot, though. If he's gonna the one that's on the TV right now, <laughs> I can well, we're it. not. Oh, we are yeah. showing it. I mean, he already showed it to millions of people. Yeah, but he'd probably take it down. This thing, I think our blur video it. will stay up. I'm so gonna blur it when we should... do it in post. Well, don't don't show it on podcast. That's easier. Oh fuck. I okay. So how do I do that? So maybe don't show it. I'm just gonna listen to it. Then. Yeah, just don't show it. Yeah. So don't show the TV. I'll turn it off. But I do want the sound. Okay, so here the first shot starts with he's just, the camera is just on his house. And there's a little tr- rectangle with the, the, the actual address, which is blurred. But everything else, including the... This is his house. He's got like Rolls Royces and whatnot. He got the merch. He got the merch. They didn't blur out the license oh, plates. They did not blur out the license plates? They the They're not legible. No. Oh. Not that it fucking matters. Oh, here you go. Wow, he... Whatever, like fifth grade music. Okay, so listen to this. I was like, oh, damn, damn, man, that sucks. <laughs> so I was like, damn, Post Malone hates me, bro, whatever. It's all good, though. We're going to dab on them haters. But then my boy posts on Christ. Twitter this tweet. He orders our merchandise. A lot of it. A lot of it, which we have it right here. First of all, I'm super confused. I don't know why he ordered our- Think about it, idiot! He's one of my best friends! <laughs> he doesn't- Well, irony is a very complicated word for a boy like uh, Mr. Paul. You know, he there is- It doesn't exist. He's like, what's irony? Can I dab on it? <laughs> well, he even says himself, I'm confused. Yeah, of course he is. I thought he, he hated me. It doesn't take much to confuse him, let's be real. <laughs> so let's go- I, But maybe he likes me, so let me go to his house and broadcast it to the world. That'll get him on my side. <laughs> <laughs> Great plan. Great plan. Merchandise. When he was talking smack about us. Right now, we're about to hand deliver it to his house. He lives like 45 minutes away. We're going to give him his merch. Hopefully, he's home. And we're going to confront him and ask him, like, yo, why would you talk smack and then order our merch? And then hopefully, we can become... Oh That's God. not legal. That's not legal. Somebody ordering your merch from a third-party company doesn't entitle you to steal their address and then display it to millions of people in your video. You don't get it, man. He just wants to talk with him and then this vlog it and display it. You know, it's like 
It, I just wish he had an older brother <laughs> who could talk some sense into him and maybe steer you know him what? away from doing this dumb shit. I Me fucking, too. You know what? Fuck Logan Paul. I saw it. I was like, maybe he's laying low and he's going to talk some yeah. sense to his brother, his older brother. His most recent video I checked this morning is yeah. reacting to the Jake Paul drama. He's oh, milking Christ. it. Too. Really? Yeah. Probably both are. They're not even brothers. <laughs> They're, he's just a failed clone of, of the original. This is so funny. Like, oh, he turned out too stupid. Let's. <laughs> You're not showing the video, right, Ryan? Yeah. Okay. But these old guys want to bang us. <laughs> and then he hits me, Jake hit me in the DMs, and he says, I want to make a song with you in post. Mm. I didn't answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, Jake because hit I, you in the DMs? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Because I was going to, I wanted to wait to see what he did with this, because I was going to, because previously we had talks in the DMs, and he was a nice guy. He had talked about coming on the podcast, uh -huh. and I thought about having him come on. Sure. My concern was that he was going to come and act insane right so yeah. it was kind of a liability of so, course yeah it's too many so, dab jokes yeah i mean <laughs> that you know how many times can you dab on the haters it's like, so <laughs> fucking annoying but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this but this is kind of just i don't know i don't know that i can this is fucked yeah Super yeah let's do that <clears throat> is this a post song no. Okay, guys. Uh, so we are like a quarter mile away. I don't know how this is about to go down. We don't know if he's home. We don't know if he hates us or I'm. I'm just confused in general. Let's. Uh, let's. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. What makes you think that it's cool to go to his house? So he's showing the front house. He's showing his cars. Bro, I'm kind of nervous. He's going up, he's showing the front door. <laughs> I, if I made a video Idiot. at our house, I would never show the front or the front door. Yeah. Never. 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 Isn't that why you guys had iDubs climb up? Yeah. The of course. Yeah. And that, even that was too risky. That was just yeah. a good joke. Yeah. It, it was it worth worked. it for the joke. It's a good bit. Yeah. But we were worried about it. <laughs> Here's the front door. They're both there. They've got a lot of cameras there. Is Austin here? Bro, we got two <laughs> They're recording Austin at like... I don't even know that he's being, he no, knows he's being reported right now. But that's on? legal, right? Austin saying, what's going on? We thought we would hand deliver. He probably thought, like, you were you. somewhere back there, too, <laughs> like, <laughs> making sure that this was cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. As long as you dog it, but, like, we're like, yo, you got the merch, so. It's good. You know what they are? They're shitty, obsessive, no, no boundary fans. When fans mm -hmm. come to your house, you're like, don't look come to my house. They Who have that? become the 10 year old girls outside yeah. of the Team 10 house. He, he normalized the behavior and now he thinks it's okay. Now he thinks yeah. it's cool. Yeah. And you know what's really cool? Everybody yeah. does it. My dad dropped me Wait, off. Wait, can I open it so you guys can at least watch along? Can I put it on the TV or is that too risky? Maybe it's better that we listen because we're like the viewers. We okay. kind of yeah, that's, yeah, you guys can always like cut to it in the mix yeah. when you do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, we, we, yeah, we get the picture. Yeah. You're already vlogging. <laughs> right. He likes us. <laughs> it's good because we like him. So, like, yeah, but yeah, we're friends, right? Do we go in or no? We should just, you know, we should just stand right here. Oh my God. <laughs> He's putting pants on. Right. We so like great. law schools yeah, that show this footage. We got the church. <laughs> like, it's a case study. Yeah. It's a fucking case study. <laughs> Lincoln Bobo, you already know. Yo, you're a savage. Savage. I love your music. Thank you, sir. That's how we were like, yo, we got to hand deliver him the merch. Thank you, sir. Lucky Thank for them, Post right? is a nice guy. Yeah, he's yes. a nice guy. He's way nicer than yeah. the a, a, a less nicer person would have maybe yeah. beat like, the, the shit out of him. Fuck off my property. Yeah. yeah. Stupid kids. There would just be shotgun blast mm -hmm. from the other side of the door. <laughs> They're really dark. That'd be a good vlog. Yeah. I had no doubt that Austin would just be nice because yeah, he's, he's, he's a, just he's, nice. He texts me, he's like, you won't believe what just happened. I'm yeah. like, what? Not knowing. He's like, Jake Paul just came to my fucking house. <laughs> oh, man. They, they lucked out. Uh, but <laughs> just, it's, like, it's like a god trip. I just need a little bit of explanation because it's like you were kind of like iffy about the song, but right. we were like, but then you got the merch, so... Yeah, man, I just, you know, the merch is fire. <laughs> Dude, he's fucking oh, goofing geez. on him so hard. Yeah. The merch is fire, you know. You know. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. So, I know you <laughs> this meme is too crazy. <laughs> Austin's in a Jake Paul video memeing on him in his own video. Yeah. But buying it's merch. It's way over his head. He <laughs> bought the merch for a sketch that we're going to make. Right. Thank right. you so much. For having me on this show today, this is <laughs> could the timing be better? Could the timing? <laughs> this is right. To this is so incredible. serendipitous. We get to witness this yeah. firsthand. It's a beautiful thing. Where were you? I'm right. I'll never forget. I'll never when forget. I'm a shocked. stupid little boy got I'm himself speechless. incarcerated. <laughs> I'm speechless. The thing is, like Jake Paul was riding so high, he's invincible, but somehow he found a way. Yeah. 
He's on like this incredible nosedive. You think? Well, you think so? I mean, yeah. I, I well, this is illegal. This no, is illegal. This is this, so illegal. This is straight up lawsuit. You lost everything. Like if Austin wants to press charges or sue him, I'm sure it's Austin completely. wouldn't. Because yeah. he's not no, that I'm not kind sure. of guy. He seems I'm not sure like if people, too nice a guy. If well, people start I'm not showing sure. up at his house and That's shit. That's true. I'm yeah. not sure. Also, there's a precedent to be set because, I mean, yeah. he's, he's Post Malone. He's a very popular uh, musician. Yeah. Yeah. He has a team of lawyers yeah. behind him. Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. They're going to see does. something like this and be like, well, you yeah. want to... Would you like to bury him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, Shall we? Let's, let's not. <laughs> the, the merch company? The That's merch, what you're By the way, this... Okay, Jake Paul sells his merch through... Fanjoy, which is a huge merch company. Right. The fact yeah. that they handed yeah. him his address is a whole line oh, of here we horrible. Go. Here we go. Absolutely mm-hmm. unscrupulous, illegal. Yeah. So you know, a lot of people are going to go down for this. It seems like it's the new um, Watergate. <laughs> yes. Paulgate. Wait, what? Oh yeah, the gate. Austin, Austin, Austin called it Paulgate. Yeah. Paulgate. <laughs> Hashtag Paulgate. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Jake Gate. <laughs> this needs to be an H3 video. It will be. I think we just need to go home and make a whole video out of this. You just, and then make the parody. You got a whole, you got a couple of vids there. You man. guys got it. You got oh. the fire. You're just talking about having times when like, you my can't nut think of what the to do. <laughs> I know. You got it. Now. I need to bust my nut for H3. Dude, can we just like, can we just take, take a step back and just, uh, here's a situation. We're all just drinking some nice ice cold <laughs> Hennessy. While witnessing That's the true. downfall of cheers. the most notorious, yes, absolutely, cheers, cheers. to that. To the fallen. Cheers. The oh, fall of the poles. I gotta click my glass. Sorry. Like, I gotta click my damn glass. Slancha. You know, it's funny, because they just Slancha. made they made a music video called The Rise of the Poles yeah. just two weeks ago. Ah. Well. That was quick. <laughs> yeah. They really M. Nighted this one. <laughs> they really M. Nighted Sean Watt. Turns out water killed them. <laughs> I gotta see what. Just throwing this out there. And you gotta do anything with it, but we got another song, and there's a verse open. Is there a verse for me and Ethan? There's a. Verse <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> both want to be on it. I we'll got split to. it up. We'll split it up halfway. I got Can you imagine Post Malone, a pop superstar, doing a verse on Jake Paul? Like, how delusional do you get? The look on, on Austin's face right now is the face of somebody who's like, man, you fucked up. You right. Just yeah. You yourself. fucked you, up. Yeah. What have you God. done? <sighs> what fury <laughs> hath thou wrought? I'm telling you, bro. By the way, using dolphin sounds to censor shit? Yeah. yeah. Stupid. It's dumb. <laughs> Doesn't work for me. Yeah. That went so well. That went so well. Oh, yeah, did it? Did it? <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Bro, you are in the corner. This is the most corner it gets. You had, a, you had the sniper shot? Yeah. But he's gonna be on my song, my new song. No way. Yeah. Yeah, we probably should have got his number. We know where he lives. We can just come knock. We can just drop up. It's just like know where he lives. A little too real. Yep. Oh my f- Fuck, dude. That went so Uh-oh, well. Whoa, whoa, what are they doing right there? <laughs> yeah, is that going? Google Maps? Are they going to zoom in on the exact location? Let's watch that. Really? Yeah, there's like a Google Maps thing open. No. Oh, my God. I don't know if it's... Yeah, I, it's, I don't think that it's accurate. Well, I think it's going to zoom in. Oh, nope. All right. I think it's random. Nah. I think okay, it's okay. Random. Not so that. cool. So he... Uh, See the comments. Yeah, publicly made the... Uh, I think he'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'll be fine. That went so well. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah, that, went, that went great. <laughs> He's going to be on the new song. <laughs> <laughs> what more can you ask for? Christ. I'm shocked and awed by this. <laughs> yeah, me too. This is uh, <laughs> so weird. This is it's so surreal. This is just, this is easy for us, really. <laughs> I know, yeah. It's like somebody just filled our food bowl. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so <laughs> blown away by how reckless and irresponsible this guy is. I just Eating can't like believe kings it's real. this week. Oh, is this, is this part of the um, uh, weird news segment, bizarre news that you're talking about? <laughs> so is, cool! <laughs> hey, we win! We won! There's nothing bizarre news. This is our lead story. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh, that was a great bit. Oh, man. I really need to hear back from Austin. Oh, that's yeah. hilarious. Oh, what? Oh, what? What is he's, going he's on? probably on Should the phone with his like fucking Dre? lawyers right I'll, now. I'll like, message Dre. Of them? lawyers, yes, probably. I want to yeah. message Dre and tell him to check that. Yeah. All right. Let's get. Let's let's focus. We need to make an H three video out of this though. This is absolute bananas. Yeah. This is priority number one for you guys. Let's cut it short and just go <laughs> home. <laughs> go go go. All right. Let's let's move it on. Let's do the news here. Are we are we set up? Or... Uh, I gotta grab that back. From okay. Go ahead. Let's get. So anyway, Dan's going to. Well, I'm, I have a hard time. No, buddy, I get it. I get it. That was quite a uh, quite a development that we got to witness live. Yeah. On air. Yeah. This is like watching the the towers fall. You this know? is kind exactly. of on that level. I mean. All right. Well, 
I, but, sorry, but less terrible. sad. Less sad. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. That was a terrible lot. analogy. There's only one, there's there's like, only yeah. one uh, victim here, sadly, which is Post Malone. Yeah. Well, but for all now, of us win. I think Post is going to win in the end. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think he's got the upper hand. I hope he doesn't have to move or anything. He literally just moved there like a couple weeks ago. Oh, really? He he literally was like, I'm going to take the day off to put all the boxes away because my house looks like a dump and I feel yeah. like a poor person. God. It's definitely a dick move. Dick move. You Th- don't this do guy's that. got fucking investors and, and yeah. he that's doesn't like pass saying, this shit through a legal team that's before like he puts saying stuff up. When you waterboard someone. Dick, that was a dick move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your exact, it's just the same. Very comparable. Just simulate it's a drowning Yo, you, dick. dick move. What are you doing, man? Why'd you do that? Dick I wish move. you could do that. Yeah. I wish you could have just, just could have asked. <laughs> I can tell you. Yeah. I'll talk. Give All right, my permission so next time. We are yeah. setting up for the new segment. That was a bit of a tangent, but I felt it was an important one. That to, was beautiful. To, uh, no, well worth the time. Yeah. Well worth it. Really so glad give us a second here, Dan. You just made my day. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Gosh. Pretty crazy that <laughs> it happened during the podcast. Oh, no, right. oh my god, dude! What is he <laughs> thinking? Like everything else he's done has been pretty, pretty much a footnote to that one. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, it, it'll get hella views. It'll get hella press. Um, I just hope to God it develops into something else, and it's not just another brick in the Jake Paul wall. You know what I mean? Like, I hope that this actually... Like, because you can compare, like, Trump to this. You know, Trump says all this outlandish shit and does all this outlandish stuff. And in the end, like, everyone clamors for impeachment. But are we any closer to that? So, like, I hope this is a little different. This is a tangible crime. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You're right. I want to see the special... And I I hear you, because it's like... Dude needs to understand that there are consequences. Like, he's so off the hinge. He's so, like, deluded with, like, this power and fame. He's, he's absolutely off the chain. He's just doing anything. He's, he is the definition of doing anything. Yes. Yeah. For the views. He know, right. you know. Yeah. Well, I, hey, I got a video on deck. Yeah. I, I feel do. great. Yes, yeah. You do. I feel great. I'm yeah. going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to owe Austin dinner. I'm going to make a bunch of money off his fucking big <laughs> There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Okay. You guys got a tab running? Mm. Yeah, yeah I, I'm gonna, I wanna try the analog shit real quick. Fuck that shit. Hell yeah. One of these analog guys. The digital's overrated. How's that vape? Is it is it a good I love it. It's it, it helps. It's a it really definitely nasty. helps. Nifty. And you know, yeah, I like the I mean, this uh, episode's not brought to you by this. Mm-hmm. It looks it's like a mad. USB stick. It's very I cool. like how slim it is because I tried another one. This thing's called a, a jewel. Uh, that, I used to have another e cig that was like big and fat, and it just yeah. didn't feel like a cigarette. Yeah, this yeah, kind of yeah. does. It I feels even, like, like flick it, like it's, it's really got some cool invention. It keeps me Dan, on the right side of things. Her, See, I, that's the thing got him off. Yeah, yeah. I'm off it with the vape. Too. I'm only Look at like that. a couple Congrats, months man, in. That's yeah. cool. That's entry level shit, though. Dad vapes hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. <laughs> All right, let's do the news. So roll the uh, roll the intro. Let's get into the news. I want to watch it on the stream. Here we go. It's exciting. Jake, I wouldn't do that. Roll it. <laughs> I just wouldn't do that. Just crawl up there. Okay. It's wrong. There it is. Woohoo. I probably should. I should probably do it so they don't hear it. <laughs> but I'm in on that fucking truck is And interestingly, oh, yeah, Jake yeah. Paul is in the news yeah. segment. Oh, look that. at that. All right, here we'll we go. We are officially in the news segment. Woo! All right, Dan, <laughs> take the lead. All right, guys. Uh, so we got some spicy ones this week. Um, first up, uh, I don't know if anybody's heard about this, but um, they've set a, a lofty goal in Baltimore. Um, we're going for a... I'm going to turn the TV off. Turn it up. No, I'm going to throw the video over there. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm fucking this up already. Go All ahead. right, so in Baltimore, there is a call for a uh, murder-free weekend. Yes. Just one weekend. Let them know. No murder. Let's just say it because people need to hear it. Yeah. Right. That'll work. Apparently, uh, we've seen already 188 murders in Baltimore this year. Wow. Uh, going for a record there. That it? <sighs> and so... I guess the solution's simple. Uh, just don't kill anybody. <laughs> That's it, right? I find that. In- I wonder if the hardened gangsters are like, you know what? Today's the day. Today's the yeah. day. <laughs> I'm gonna She's respect right. this shit. He's, they're right, you guys. You know what? One weekend, just one. So what? You said a murder-free weekend. That's yeah. what they're just opting for. Just, just a weekend. Just and then days. Monday, 
9 a.m. Yeah, right back it's on the be clock. Mass murder on Monday. I like, like why this purge, purge Monday. Monday. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Are, um, are like the they trying to keep the num like why this weekend? Uh, it's actually in August. So, uh, so oh my god, so it's not even this. Yeah, so this so weekend weird. there's yeah, gonna be some fucking murders. That's so yeah. weird. That's so, so who, and, and what was the committee like? Who who said this? Uh, no, it's a um, oh. uh, it's it's kind of sad actually. It's this mother who I think had her kids murdered. Okay, okay. There's there's. A real sentiment behind. Absolutely, it. absolutely. Um, well, that makes it way so easier. So, will you to will you guys yeah. participate? And I pledge to participate. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'll anybody. murder a single person yeah. that yeah. weekend. You yeah. can murder it elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, no, oh, yeah, yeah, I get that. I do have a trip to Juarez. <laughs> oh, well then, go nuts. Because it's not Baltimore, right? Wait, is that a real place? Yeah, that's Let's a real say place. It is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sounds so real. Well, we'll have it's to check place. back in in August and see how they did on oh, that. That's a good point. That's yeah. All right, I'll make it. So note. let's see then, how th- we'll have an update. Then Mike uh, is a little quiet. They say so. Hold it, it. You gotta hold that mic real close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your mouth. oh, okay. You're, oh, right yeah, into. I'm it. always harping right on you guys. Yeah. Damn, yeah. yeah, <laughs> Mike. Yeah, Mike wow. Etiquette. Microphone oh, etiquette. They're saying damn. Welcome to our world. All right. So next story. There was a right in your mouth. There was a crash. There was a crash in Oregon. Um, where a bunch of shipping containers spilled. Uh, we accidentally spilled, uh, looks like 7,500 pounds. Hold on, let me mute this autoplay shit. I hate that autoplay shit. Yeah. That's the worst. YouTube ads are nothing, okay? You know what I mean? <laughs> Seriously. Everything else is an imitator. And you scroll so down and follow 7,500 right. pounds of slime eels Whoa. poured what onto on the Earth? highway. Ah, the old hand origin. Oh, oh my god. Apparently oh my god. It, the shipping containers they crashed and it actually crashed into another car so oh my god. God. <laughs> it's completely inundated uh, with eels. Holy shit. I've uh, seen that anime. Yeah. Uh, uh, is that food? Is that what uh, that is? Yeah, I guess so. This is a delicacy in Korea and China, apparently. Ah. This particular species yes, of yes. eel uh, grows off of the uh, Oregon coast there. Oh, my and, God. And um, when they get freaked out, they secrete this, like, mucus. Oh, so, <laughs> that's like eel jizz. Yes. <laughs> Are you telling me they got freaked out, these eels? <laughs> <laughs> they tried to make a run for it, but... It's like a defense mechanism. It's supposed to, like, sometimes yeah. suffocate <laughs> the fish when it's trying to eat what them. What a disaster. Uh, God. Interesting. Eric, oh do you know about goodness. these eels? Yeah, they're called... The, they're not actually eels. They're actually hagfish. Huh. Are you and serious? They, they have no. a bunch of Look pores running alongside their body that secrete the mucus. What? They are older than dinosaurs. Wait, no what? kidding. One of those I've that's seen, been around for hundreds of years. I've seen videos years. of people huh. eating them, and I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, they, they, I don't know if they eat them in the slime they or they like create the like a gelatin. I'm sorry if I'm running right. Oh, yeah. Is this something you planned no, no, on? No, no this is no, no. I Yeah, yeah the hagfish, man. It's an interesting creature. Weird. So there was jizz all over the road and all over that guy. And the, <laughs> the guy, yeah. that poor that, that that car, that image of the car and yeah. just all the shit in it will he, forever haunt my dreams. He so. was uh, he came out like covered in slime. They're like, oh, you got hit with the eel. Oh no, <laughs> unrelated. Yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> it's only totally. the eel got me. One came right through the back of the truck. <laughs> Any idea how many how many eels were spilled, Dan? Uh, Seven thousand five hundred. No, 7,500 pounds of eels. Oh, we have, we have, oh my God. So that's way more eels. That is a yeah. lot of demand for eel. Christ. That is a That is an absolute tragedy. Tragedy. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, sorry to yeah. the eel apologists. No, like, you're right, though. Like, just a truck's full of, like, uh, what, two and a half? No, I can't. That's not yeah. right. Like, three tons and then some, almost four, almost four tons. Of eels. I think the the EPA heard that they've been alive since the dinosaurs and were like, well, let's fucking wipe them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they had they, their run. Let's their make time. them extinct. You know, yeah. their We've only been around for 100,000 years, so let's, uh, you know. <laughs> Nobody beats us. Yeah. <laughs> Number well, one, baby. Number one. Fill a truck with them <laughs> and send it into an SUV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is, I, you know what? I say fuck them. That's my takeaway from this story. Fuck oh, those eels. If, yeah. if we're not eating them, let them spill on the damn road. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, wipe them out. It. Yeah, wipe absolutely. Them out. How the hell did they become a delicacy? Nothing right. delicate about yeah, them. Yeah, it's the the creep. Yeah. Well, Asians. Yeah, 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 who, Asians. yeah who said? Asians. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> These guys look fun. <laughs> the Asians will eat animals. They eat damn animals. Yeah, it's almost a challenge at this point. more disgusting. They love yeah. it's better for them. They're like, oh, people find this gross? They're I like, found a way to eat it. They're like, I don't want just an eel. I want an eel with mucus membranes that's covered in jizz. The eel is like entry level. I need the yeah. jizz eel. I know <laughs> every animal jizzes, but this animal jizzes the most. Oh, I think that's the nickname, too. The the, the, the hagfish and the jizz eel. Right? The, the jizz, jizz eel. The, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. They're more commonly known. The, the, the more, hagfish, yes. commonly known as the jizz eel. <laughs> Spilled today. A jizz eel. My God. <laughs> we All like right. to fill trucks with them. and That's right. 
Man, I'm, I'm getting drunk. <laughs> yeah. these, Buddy, I'm feeling it too. Yeah. Yeah. These jizz eels, man. Yeah. Let me tell you. All right, what's next? All right, next. Um, <laughs> what? So over, over in China, um, a new trend is these uh, personal defense weapons. Uh, they call them an anti pervert uh, flamethrower. Um, this is basically straight up a lightsaber. Um, <laughs> oh, hell yeah. It's not even... Oh, exactly. shit. Yeah, show us that video. Take a look at this. Show us. <laughs> yeah, so, the, <laughs> so that's what? the smaller one right Damn. there. Wow. Uh, it actually gets way crazier. Apparently oh this burns God. at like 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. So, yeah. And can shoot up to like almost a foot. So for those of you guys who are who are listening and not watching... It actually looks like a lightsaber. It and really it's a does. Straight up torch. I mean, that is yeah. like a three foot flame. I've never seen. So I'm a little saddened that it had to take well, perverts in China to create <laughs> that incredible technology because that's amazing. That's well, the coolest well, thing I've seen in a say, while. Necessity is the mother of, of invention. invention. They sure do. They sure do say that. When someone's just... trying to grab your slime meal off your plate, you hit them with the. <laughs> yeah, with Jizzy the Jizzy the lightsaber. Jizzy right, right. Come on. The Jizz Saver. That's it's so. Yeah, right. Yeah. The anti pervert so this lightsaber. This is legal in China? Oh, someone yeah. is saying in the chat that it's on Amazon, apparently. No way. Uh-oh. Oh, we're fucked, man. That if it's weird. on Amazon. I, that's the last thing I want to be seeing at, like, is EDC. This, is this the new <laughs> fidget spinner? Yo, is this the new fidget spinner? Is this yeah, going to be, like, the new, not. like... That's your, uh, your kid with uh, ADD. Oh, know. here you go. Just play with that. <laughs> Just, uh, Daddy's got to work. That kid loves fire. Do you have... How many of these have been sold? People are actually watch, walking around with these in China blasting perverts. Is, is it that big of a problem? Like, what's going on in China? Perverts. Yeah, well, no, 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 I, honestly, okay. I like. I, I think I get it. There's like the overcrowding in trains, and there are like a, there are gropers. There are you know guys like grope the ladies. Whatever happened to pepper spray? <laughs> Why do we need <laughs> fucking? Train. Is pepper spray <laughs> yeah. like a fucking That's lightsaber? True. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, yeah, so there's no lightsaber. There's anything. no crystal technology. Okay. No. <laughs> no. So on, the purpose here is, if you use pepper spray on a train, you're gonna fuck everybody up on the in the in the train. So instead, give them a bla- give them a little blast, <laughs> a little warning it's blast. It's more um, <laughs> what's the word? Concentrated, their body. more accurate. Yep. I get that. Yeah, that looks like it would go right through somebody. Just a it little would. hole. Yeah. Like a lightsaber. Just How's a the audio hole? on Dan's mic? Can you hear it out there, Ryan? Is it all right? Just one more. <laughs> Gotta eat that mic, I guess. Eat that mic. <laughs> eat that. That's the, that's the <laughs> tagline. Right. 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 When you buy it, well, it's just one mic. more hole. <laughs> this is the solution to overpopulation. Burn them all. Ser- I'm just, I, again, I can't. It's no. just such a weird, like, crazy cool technology. But what a strange, like, very specific um, origin. Yeah. It's, it's, it's perverts in China. As opposed to, like, for example, like, um, military technology or like laser cutting or something. No, no, just perverts in in, in overcrowded <laughs> uh, China. Like like that what a weird necessity. I mean yeah. not not weird's the wrong word. I mean it's it's tragic and it's it, shitty. No. Yeah. But it's just very not what you'd expect. I don't know. Let's that, send a couple to Jake Paul. Let's send a couple to Post Malone. Might burn that house down. <laughs> Post Malone needs this. Yeah. We Post should, Malone just got him like Wolverine on his fucking hands. We need oh, to there you go. The the Cosplay just got really fucking cool. Yeah. Now. We need to market these as anti Jake Paul devices. <laughs> he will come to your house. When he shows up at your house. Give him a give him a two. Yeah. Don't buy his merch. <laughs> the anti polars. Seriously, honestly, what that's not the bad. Anti polars. Anti polars. <laughs> All right, that's pretty fascinating. What it is. What else we got, Dan? Uh, then this one's a little little lighter than eels or flamethrowers. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You guys remember Bodie McBoatface? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know this yeah. one. I know well, update us. Uh, update the people I don't at home know. And I don't me. Know so so, <laughs> so a few years ago uh, in the UK, they had a vote for um, this research vessel, um, what they were going to call it, and they kind of opened it to the public, which is always a great idea. Always, always a really good 4chan. idea. And yeah, I was just going to say Mountain Dew. Yeah, yeah. And of course. Um, Bodie McBoatface uh, ended up being the winner, and it was this big controversy. And then the government was like, "No, we're not going to do that." And there was an uproar. Everyone was like, "Fuck that!" It won. So be fair, right? And so I think they they made some compromise. Like the the sub, like that's on the boat is Bodie McBoatface. Ah, so okay, they, okay. You know, so oh. they sort of got it through. Um, so in Sweden, I believe, yeah, uh, something similar uh, happened. They did a vote. And uh, Trainee awesome. McTrainface uh, <laughs> was the winner. And they're going to go ahead. It, uh, listen to some of the other uh, names here. That oh, it God. Was, um, 
But they're they're honoring it this time. <laughs> Apparently, they're going to honor it. That's um, why Sweden's a great country. They're very socialist. They they honor yeah. these things. They don't get yeah. jokes too well either. They think that that's an actual name. Like, oh, well, no. it is. Yes, it, it is has now. train in name. It's right. Oh, good. Well, listen to these <laughs> other like options. Swedish. I was going to say, it's great accents. Sounds like a German villain. It was it's between, got the train. It was between Trainee McTrainface or Hakan, Miriam, or Poseidon. Poseidon, right? That was right. the one I remember. Hakan, oh, Miriam? So, yeah, 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 exactly. Those three, exactly. and then Trainee McTrainface. Thank <laughs> God. Of course that's going to win. They do have a sense of humor. Yeah, right. Like, thank God that <laughs> if one. If I saw those three options together, I would obviously vote for Trainee McTrainface. Yeah. Oh, cool. This, if this were a subreddit, it would be made me smile made or wholesome me. Happy. <laughs> you know? But honestly, I'm really happy. Like, when I saw this on whatever, like, R Not The Onion or whatever the fuck, this made me really happy because I do remember Bodie McBoatface and the uproar that uh, surrounded it. But made me happy that you made you happy. It, 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 see, there you go. It's contagious. And for Catch the record, it. I'd like to apologize to the cute. Swedish people. Right. <laughs> right. Parent- oh, tell, you, tell people how the way to feel. How I feel. Parenthesis is cute. Right. In the, in the title. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta let them know. Yeah. Parenthesis sad. <laughs> Not clickbait. All right, well, shout out to Trainee McTrainface. Parentheses, right? jokes. <laughs> I mean, they could have more options like Jake Paul Army the Strongest would have been a good name for that. <laughs> Army of the Strong? We are strong. He says we Jake are Paul, lit. Army's strongest army. Have Army, you seen that tweet that uh, he also, retweeted? Please do not buy his merch. He will come to your house yeah. and find you and make it public. I hope you he joins the have, you guys, have you guys seen the tweet that he retweeted? What was it? It's like was it? uh, so one, of his, one of Jake Paul's fans said. We are lit. We are savage. We are Jake Paul. It's it's, it's amazing. You should read it. Oh, it sounds amazing. It was amazing. something like, we are Jake Paulers. We are savage. We will bring yeah. it. Something like that. So cool. And he so edgy. It. Sounds like a bad Nike ad. It really does. <laughs> we, yeah. Anyway, fuck, oh, what's man. next? Hit us with it, Dan. It's uh, Liddy. So next up, um, basically, uh, you know, if you take this whole Jake Paul thing to its logical conclusion, yeah. 20 oh. years later, you wind up with... Uh, oh. Our next story. Hold on, I got this is, tweet. Um, I got this tweet. He retweeted this. We are savages. We are always lit. We are powerful. We prank people. We love Team Ten. We love Bizarre Bizarre Kvark. That's his Disney show. We are Jake Paulers. And he retweeted that. And he also retweeted there is eight point five million people who would do anything to live next to Team Ten House. By the way, these are twelve year old girls. Like Okay, cool. You do anything to live anything. next to Jake Ten. Being a fucking adult who owns a house, idiot. <laughs> well, I didn't realize he had a Disney show. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's he's right. I take back everything I've said about him. <laughs> it's great. Oh yeah, he's Disney cool with me great. now. I love Disney. Yeah. Oh, he's got a Disney show. <laughs> Let's see what else he. Tweeted. I love the part where like we prank people. Like he's that's fucking banged. savage. We, Pranking people is so savage. Let's be real. He's decent. It's hard. He yeah. also retweeted, he ain't going to listen to nobody. He's going to flip and send it, dude, with a crying laugh emoji. He retweeted that. Oh, he's so cool. Not ironic because it's the, the avatar is a 12-year-old girl. And then he tweeted himself, I'm still going to send it. He's the first Disney star to lose his mind before getting the job on Disney. <laughs> That's right. He works there. No, he's on there. He just. But he's a minor character. He's like yeah. a character in a show. For then the he, kids. Yeah, for the kids. For the kids. Right. Then he tweeted out, crazy how people care about me being a bad neighbor. Bigger fish to fry. Sure. Innocent people are getting shot every day. You should worry about that. That's not a justification for your shitty behavior, yeah. Jake Paul. You can't just hide behind a yeah. statistic and be like, yo, people should fucking worry about that instead. Oh, that that tweet made me so mad, yeah. which I know is what he wants. <laughs> but like, so like, there is somebody know, getting shot somewhere. Can we please go figure that out? Well, not in Detroit in a couple weeks, right? Baltimore. 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 Bad timing, Jake. There's, no, People Detroit's fine. I mean, oh, okay. Detroit's like right. off the, you know, good, good. like murder but, away. Like, la, 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 la. They're still you know, making cars. Whatever happens in Detroit stays in Detroit. <laughs> Baltimore, no murdering, one weekend By only. The way, yeah, yeah. As if people can't worry about two things at one time. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, yo, man. Yeah, maybe I am a shitty neighbor slash person. But people are dying! You know, priorities, <laughs> world. Yeah. Who wants another drink? Uh, I'm still I drinking. I'll take another bud. You want? I'm, yeah. Dan, I'm, I'm slowing down now. Yeah. I'm actually pretty drunk. I'm pretty toasted. Dude, yeah, I'm pretty toasted. <laughs> Yo, cheers, man. Dan, man. You, got, you got a sip, I mean, I'm empty. All right, cheers. Yeah, no, it's, it's, not, it's only bad luck if it's empty. You got I, an absolute. Yeah, yeah, don't get too much Hennessy in you because... I'm going to grab a beer. Next thing you know, we're all going to be out. How's this new segment going? Watches. She's just a drunk-ass fucking drunk. Who wants a beer? I'll have a beer. I'll be right back. Um, this is great. This, you know, just hanging out. Yeah. With microphones in our faces, <laughs> capturing yeah. all of our burps and Public stomach for the world. noises. And yeah, absolutely. <laughs> just shooting the shit, though. My stomach is just. The next story. All right, next story. The next story is kind of oh, heavy. Yeah, that ne- is. Next story is heavy. Um, Pretty heavy duty. I don't know if you guys heard about this. Um, a uh, actually. 
really good investigative report from BuzzFeed. Seriously, of all places. apparently they they've been coming hard people. with some good news. Yeah, they, they have. Yeah. they have. Real reporters now. I actually yeah, read just, this whole article, and it's a really good article. Right. Hmm. You were super Street. disturbed by this. She I was, was telling you, like, it's she was super skeeved out. Yeah. yeah, it's really disturbing. So, what happened? Yeah, R. Gawker Kelly and... has a sex cult. Um, I'm gonna pee on you. Dedicated to him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So apparently, he he has uh, let's see, up to six women living in his house that he controls every aspect of their life. Mm-hmm. Um, records himself having sex with them. Um, and distributes it to his friends and yeah. stuff. Oh my god! And he ma- he calls them my babies, and he makes them call him daddy. Oh, not creepy at all. Oh, That's no, not creepy at not all. Not creepy at all. Creepy and at all. Daddy. Um, That's what we do, Ela. Once, he- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, when he when he started to like get in a relationship with them, what he does is he gives them a new cell phone. And then they That's ca- a good deal. Yep. What are they complaining about? That's how he pays. Well, them. let me tell you. In this economy, they can only use it when he allows it. And to whom he allows it, and he tells them what to wear and what to do. Appa- like according to this article, and it's okay. in, there's a lot of every like there's a lot. Okay, here's my it's question. It's not just though. one rumor. Are they, are they complicit? Are they willing participants? So What's that's the, the problem there? with it. It's it's How pretty much it's they? like a cult. It uh, manipulates around them. Like 19. Mm, that's his. 20. That's his thing. That's, that's actually well. a little so, too old and, for and him. that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. He's, yeah, that's he, true. He's gotten caught on a couple yeah. of things that's with fifteen year old. Married Aaliyah when yeah. she was fifteen. Right. Yeah. In, in oh, 1994, uh, oh. there was a follow up article uh, from Rolling Stone, and they kind of broke down his whole history of this kind of behavior. And yeah, uh, he was uh, 27 at the time, and he married Aaliyah, uh, who, was who was 15 at the time, uh, when they were. Making their album, this is not a joke, age ain't nothing but a number. Yeah. And no. that, that Classic. actually, no, 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 no. that was so, that, that's, I think that's why I got so sick from this story, because I was a big Aaliyah fan. <laughs> and I remember this album. Yeah. And all of a sudden, like everything has a completely different, different context, context huh? to yeah. it. Yeah. Well, age is, the age is not nothing but a number at a certain point. Yeah. Yeah, unless it's illegal, <laughs> yeah. you know. Then it's, okay, yeah. law aside. Let's put the statute. law aside. Let's put yeah. st- statutory rape aside. Yeah. yeah if yeah. you're 15, how old was she? 15. If you're a 15-year-old girl, think back to when you were 15 years old. You didn't fucking know what was good for you. I was married no. a five-year-old, actually. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I fucked up. <laughs> Should have done age, that. Dude. <laughs> no, but way ser- too young. <laughs> Seriously, if you're 15, how old was he at the time? 27. Like it's, that's you cannot. You're just not there emotionally, yeah. maturely. No. You're a fucking kid. You're watching Looney Tunes. And also, cereal. he Bizarre was Park, actually, he was assigned. He was assigned to be like her producer. So she was like up and coming new artist, and I think her uncle was like his manager or something like that. So he put them together, uh-huh. and he was like, "We're gonna work right. on your album together." And so also, bad. you gotta put that in context for her. It's like the guy who's. Making her responsible for a career. Yeah. So there's this kind of coercion, subtle coercion, not so subtle even. And it's the same thing with the girls that he's keeping in his cult. Right. That's They're, all of them were aspiring singers. That yeah. At one point right. or another, oh, he so that's picked the them up. Weird. That's right. the weird it's like, part. Like I can make you famous. Yeah. Is right. it? There's something. I don't know if I'm bringing this up from something else, but isn't there something in this article about how he would film having sex with them yeah. and show them to people? Yeah. yeah. Like he he'd does. have he'd have buddies over and be like, "Yeah, mm-hmm. you want to see me having sex?" Yeah. With a 19 year old but but here's the flip side to that he makes them all dress in track suits and they're not allowed to look any of his male friends in the eye what because yeah. he doesn't want any of them to like lust after them or whatever. who the fuck would go to that house guys we gotta investigate the russian <laughs> coercion in this track <laughs> suits that's a red will. flag right there yo i'm gonna go hang out with r kelly with all these yeah. weird, like 10 girls in track suits who won't look me in the eye they that's look at the time. wall Seems they like face cool the guy. wall putin's behind this that's like blair witch yeah Stand face the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except that don't Blair, look me in the eye. Don't look Blair, him in the eye. Which was a pop star that sodomized you. So the the parents he of all these girls yeah. are like they're trying to report it to the police, but apparently because the girls are there like 
from their own will. Right. The, right. the police they can't do leave. anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's those, the problem with cults. That's the cult thing. Yeah. The special Motorola phones that can't dial nine one one. Wow. <laughs> so so R. Kelly. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> going back to wow, this is a really circular episode because we were talking about how Team Ten fucks. I know. Called. That's why I was saying right. this is too real. Yeah. <laughs> but you think R. Kelly's one of the ten? He's in there. He's one hundred. Why don't you guys have any girls in here? He's the silent investor. I like what you guys are doing. Uh, we have some late breaking news. The, oh, the chat oh. is being spanned right oh, now. Oh boy! Uh, what? Not Uh-oh. confirmed, but Jake Paul uh, looks like he's being evicted, and fake. Like, there's a video, I guess. Really? That's what fucking happens. I, I call it I don't fake trust news. Star tweeted this. They don't know if it's a prank or not. Here, let me throw it on the screen. I call it fake news. Breaking it's fake yeah. news. All right, let's see. Can you we get the? Oh sound? well, this is probably a prank. Well, by the way, Team Ten owns Look at the that house, fucking... so nobody can evict him. Can you turn it up? Turn it up a little bit, Ryan. Oh my god. Crank it or shush. <laughs> That's just Post Malone sending him a lightsaber. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know about that. This is that. so creepy. That's I don't Who's know if that's this how they guy? Listen how many people are out there. This yeah. is so creepy that they're just there at all time. That house Bales of fucking hay on the side of his door? By what the way. What, what the f- what? Does he have a horse? What? Yeah. <laughs> First off. <laughs> also, are these his kids? <laughs> Those are his kids. Yeah. Is that lunch? So it, there's a basically, how old would you have lunch that order like coming. Eight? There's an eight-year-old kid coming up. Someone yeah. just apparently <laughs> taped an eviction notice to the door like Martin Luther Martin Luther during the Christian yeah. Reformation. Right. Oh, good. Wow. Nice wow. reference. I don't know why that Jesus came to mind. Jesus Christ. No, we've been full of them this today. Stay, stay that was great. This is the most yeah. educational yeah. Nailing the, uh, yeah. Wow. And there's an eight-year-old kid coming up to take a photo. I don't... The thing is that they... It's probably a sketch. They made a prank where they, like, a police guy came to um, arrest him, and that yeah. was a prank, so that's why right. I, I don't yeah. know if this is real. But Oh, yeah, no, always doubt it. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm more than the eviction, I'm just really alarmed of the um, constant circus of children outside <laughs> his house. <laughs> this is our just, Kelly sex cult. Yeah. yeah. It's just so fucking creepy, like, Have we seen don't anything do that. like that before? Like, you know, you think about, like, Leonardo DiCaprio and all these, like, the, the bad boys of Hollywood and everything, like, is, is there any comparison between this and that? Good question. Like, setting a pool on fire... Yeah, maybe Leo DiCaprio when he was in the well, the pussy think, posse or he whatever. He's a rock star. If you look yeah. back at like these um, rump, rambunctious rock stars who would trash hotel rooms, yeah, he, he fancies yeah, like that. Yeah, that's what you hear about. Yeah. You hear except, about them fucking shit up, right? Except his fans aren't like teenage to twenty year old girls. Right, his fans are actually eight year olds, children, twelve year olds, and the star is just a vlogger. Like, what is the it's right? A new yeah, thing. he's not in Titanic. He's not he's in Titanic, a, and he didn't no make talent. Nirvana or whatever. You bite your like, tongue. Like, what is? You bite your fucking what? tongue. Eric, get out! I, Have I you not like heard his apologize music? Don't yell for what I just said? I got a little Hennessy in me. Get out! Like, Ethan, you know, I, don't yell to the mic. You're gonna kill our viewers. <laughs> <laughs> There's a we have a pitch limiter, right? No, no. As soon as you're yelling, <laughs> nah, get yeah. out! No. <laughs> All right, let's move it on. <laughs> and now I'm gonna talk really loud. I'm to sorry to everyone. <laughs> When uh, I'm headphones. drunk. What do you want from me? You expect better from me? Drunk? <laughs> this yeah. Hennessy bottle is about only a quarter left. This is what you watch for. That's right. This, is such a, That's this right. episode is, has devolved such a shit show. <laughs> yeah. right, this is you go to NASCAR to see the car crashes. That's kind of what happened here. Come you know to what the Street right. podcast yeah. to see the Paul crash. Okay, yeah. b- back to R. Kelly. Yeah. yeah. There's a video that TMZ did with uh, one of the girls, and they're like, so is everything okay with you? And she's like, yeah, I, I don't know why is everyone overreacting. Everything is okay. And she obviously looks so uncomfortable. Can we pull that up? No. Yeah, yeah, Dan has it. And then there's a part where they ask her, can you tell us where you are? And you can see a shadow of someone saying no. Like you can see the hand yes. wow. shaking up. no. Whoa. Yep. We've got to pull that up. There it is. Hold on. By the way, I heard that in Jake Paul's video, he does show Post Malone's license plate. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice guy. <laughs> anyway. That's not cool. Cool guy. <laughs> what a jerk. Yeah. Not cool. You guys think R. Kelly's uh, spirit cooking? I know. I've heard about that. What's that? It's possible. What's that? It's like baby blood that keeps you young or something. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's what they were saying whole, that, that Hillary, Hillary was doing yeah, like, in that pizza I think you, place. I think you like, need to be a politician to be. Yeah, you got to be. Uh, in, uh, <laughs> you got to be going to uh, <laughs> no, if the Bilderberg <laughs> meetings. If anyone's spirit cooking, it's R. Kelly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, he's he's like doing live concerts at Bohemian <laughs> Grove. Spirit cooking. I've never I want to piss term. on you. <laughs> yes, I do. Drip, drip, drip. All so right. good. I love that song. Right? I love it. Classic. <laughs> All right. This is a TMZ video. 
So be careful on the audio level. I'm, I'm 21. I'm about to be 22 in about five days. And I just mainly want to say that I'm in a happy place with my life and I'm not being brainwashed or anything like that. Well, you know, it just came to a point where it definitely has got out of hand. I can see me. So, you know, I just want everybody to know, my parents and, and everybody in the world, that I am totally fine. My parents? Well, you don't talk to them? No, she doesn't. Nope. Okay. Oh, you're fine. Mm -hmm. totally so fine. You, you are not being held against your will or doing anything that you do not want to do? Oh, ne no, not at all. I've never been feeling hostage or anything like that in that nature. Never. So why is it now that your family's coming forward and saying this and they've asked for a welfare check and everything like that? Why, why do you Wait, think that? Wait, what? Now? Oh, oh, oh like a check of welfare. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Not, like a little I was like, what? I don't really know what's going on with that, so I, I wouldn't want to answer that at this moment. Smooth. The last time I spoke to my parents, got, maybe about a good on and off for about a good six, five months. I haven't really spoken to them because of everything. They've been causing problems in my life about saying I've been hostage and being held against my will and stuff like that. Because it has, I'm very heartbroken of what's going on with this situation because it's, it's getting to a point where it's getting too much out of hand. You know, me having yeah. to deal with this and me being 22, it's just, you know, it's just not right. So I haven't spoken right. to them mainly in about five or six months, really. Oh, on oh. Okay. I mean, they'll, you know, take some That's a time classic time, cult. Yep. I haven't really wanted Cut to my parents off. It takes their ago. phone. Right. Are you and, currently in Georgia or where are you? I actually, I'm not, no, I'm not. You can wow. kind of. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I get, yeah. Okay. I, don't, with, I feel oh, like when I was, saw move. I saw yeah, move. when yeah, I was watching are. on my phone, it, it seemed more clear. You can see on her shirt, like, yeah. the <clears> shadow kind oh, of, Oh, that's like, so creepy. No. So oh, that's so that. sad and creepy. So, oh, yeah, we're fine. I haven't talked to my parents for six months, and I can't tell you where I'm located. What's, what's yeah. it, Scientology, where they have, um, um, uh, fuck, what's the acronym? It's like, um, you cut someone off. Suppressive person. Yes, an yeah. SP. Thank you so an much. SP. That's exactly it. Yeah, that's same fucking thing. Same fucking thing. Yeah. Dude, what the and hell, all, R. Kelly? Also, the the really sad thing is that they all like aspire to be musicians, and then right. in in a few of the stories, it was a girl who went to his show, probably was on like the front row, you know, and then he was like, "You come uh, backstage afterwards," yeah. and then she would go with her parents. Yeah, with her parents. With still. the parents, and the parents are like, "Cool, he's interested. She's right. talented. Gonna maybe maybe he can coach her." And then he invites her to a show. She goes. The parents g gets a little weirder, you know, and then he invites her to travel with him, and then she doesn't tell the parents. Because she's like, I'm going to travel with the superstar. He's right. going to make me a star. Right. The parents don't know about it. And then they lose contact. It's too late. And she, it's, it's too, too late. late, exactly. And that's what happened with a few of them. It's crazy. Oh, it's so sad and creepy so and scary. And, and, and weird that this shit happens. I know I sound like John Oliver. Cur it's current year. It's 2017. <laughs> but at the same time, it's so, it is fucking weird that, like, doesn't it seem, like, dated to talk about cults just in general? Yeah. It's like cults, man. They're fucking dumb. Yeah. Still goes on today. Depends how much money they have. True. He True. seems like a master yeah. manipulator. Yeah, He's been exactly. doing this since back in the day. And there's so many cases of girls who, like, sued him, and then they came to an agreement, and he paid them. So Silent there is agreement. no, yeah, so there's no, like, actual like he was guilty of that or guilty of you oh. know reminds me of brian but, singer but there's like a million oh, stuff yeah, that's a weird one too mm -hmm. so many stories it's crazy fucking r what kelly sicko. man what's the r stand for rape, um, rape. <laughs> <laughs> didn't skip oh a beat oh <laughs> wow <laughs> bam thank you jeez i think this, it's is, this just, is why the people tune in <laughs> it's just his name like robert or richard or you know? rape he's a he's a fucking slimy rape kelly He's a human <laughs> slime meal. Really? Let's continue watching that. Yeah, Wait, where was the the finger wagging? I think it was subtle. I think but we, I saw it was subtle. It's very yeah. subtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's move it on. Let's let's lighten it up here. <laughs> but I saw it. You look, you look saw it, I believe. Oh, you. that yeah. is. What else we got? Uh, I think this is the last one actually. Um, so I'm sure everybody's heard about this. It's all over the news, but. OJ's back, baby. OJ. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, the world is a more Who? interesting place with OJ, even though he's murdered people. I hope people still have his shit so he can go steal it again and get thrown <laughs> right back into fucking prison. Yeah, I was gonna say how. What? Let's take some thirty-three more years. All right, I've been out for an hour. Right, time oh, to get God. my shit back. <laughs> <laughs> so OJ Simpson, after basically admitting to murdering Nicole Simpson and what was her her lover's name? Did he admit it? I mean, he wrote a book. 
if I did it. If I did it. That's the funniest. He sure he talks did. hypothetically about if I did it, which is pretty much an admission. Did, but he, if I did, here's how I'd do it. In the, in the, the book, he blacks sure. out. It never actually has the murder in it. Mm-hmm. Well, they never published it after yeah, really? backlash. Really? Yeah. They were going to publish this book called If I Did It, and then after all this public backlash, they're like, what the fuck are you doing yeah. to the well, publisher? They yeah. canceled the book deal. Thank God they did. But he's cause... desperate for money because he actually lost in a civil suit because yeah. he got acquitted criminally. But then Nicole Brown's family, Mm -hmm. his wife, sued him civilly for her murder, and he was found guilty in that one. So the guy is 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 has been milked dry of pretty much all of his assets. Did you see the uh, ESPN like three part documentary series? No, it's awesome. It's like six hours long, and we saw the the Netflix. Love recent that. one. Yeah, the um, true crime or something. Uh, that's I think that's what I meant. The pe- Wait, well, I'm not talking about the, the fictionalized the um. Right, it's confusing. There was that's not, not the Ryan Murphy one. I'm talking about like the what you guys may be talking about with like, John uh, Travolta. And... Oh, no, that's the yeah. It was that's dramatized. Like the, what's that? It was it was a reenactment. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great one. Yeah. I love that. And then I watched uh, like they actually. Uh, I think it was ESPN. They made like an actual uh, that um, one like follows his early career, right? I it haven't does. Seen it, but. It's very even more even more so than the um, uh, Ryan Murphy one. It's very very in depth, like from mm. early yeah, on. It shows to, why he was such a big deal. It's oh. fascinating because it's just so it's so bizarre, especially when he gets to Florida. This is after he's, you know, he's been found not guilty, and he lives like this weird second life in Florida, and he just parties it up. Hmm. And he like films a pilot for a fucking punked ripoff, but it's like all what? it's I all about that. him. I, juiced? What? No, you don't. It's no, called you don't. Juiced. Oh Fuck you. God. I have it. Oh, it's legend. It's legendary. He like you know he drives a white bronco covered in yeah. blood the into bro- a gas station. Yeah. What for reactions? Yep. He, oh my god. Really? It sounds like a fucking I joke. That, yeah. I mean, it sounds like a, a weird, like bad, like monologue the story joke. Of OJ real. is fascinating. He was on top of the world. He was one of the most famous NFL players. He was. He's a movie star. And he just fucking murdered his yeah. wife. I was listening. I they were talking about it today on Howard Stern show, and they were mm-hmm. talking about how young people, like maybe our age, but a little younger, like yeah. in their twenties, don't even know him for how big it was. They no. only know him for the murder right. case. Right. No. And they're and That's they're true. asking like, is he really as big as people say? No, he was and kind. they say, and they naked yeah. Naked. No, naked. He, just, he, was he was a actually really fucking funny. Yeah. He, really yeah, he was. was a cultural phenomenon at the time that murder happened. He was, that was super so big. He was. He was like super. One of the most famous people in America. Yeah. I was I was gonna say anyway something. he's out fucking killed yeah. his ex-wife so anyway he murdered his wife right no well she wasn't she well, was now she's ex, they, they were like dead. separated <laughs> or something was she ex- oh, oh yeah, she, they yeah. Were, no, I, yeah no? I think they were separated I think they at were. the yeah. time um, but here's here's my question to you guys do you think Jimmy Fallon's gonna get him on like after seeing <laughs> that fucking joke tweet I can no. so see it that's bad press. I think it. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. If he I does, think it could that's happen. sick. I don't think that guy deserves. I, and Jimmy would just be the entire time be like, "Oh man, you're so yeah. crazy." <laughs> Let's go do a snowball <laughs> right. fight on the roof. <laughs> totally, <laughs> totally. He's like, "I was rooting for you the whole time." <laughs> 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 All right, are you crazy? <laughs> so <laughs> that's a pretty I hope good. Not. So imagine <laughs> that. No, I don't. I think. I think he's smarter. To, he's he's more protective of his image. I that, saw. It's not a good look. I saw it's Joe Rogan good. tweet. Should I have? Oh a... fuck! What did Joe so say? So Joe Rogan is a more interesting angle because it's more conversation based and. Joe Rogan will yeah. go in on him. He said, oh, he's not afraid of anything. Yeah, he I mean, said, should yeah. I have uh, OJ or not? And I would say, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I want to yes. hear what, o- would, what OJ has to say to that, about yeah, sure. the spirit molecule and DMT and uh, <laughs> the the enlightenment of the human mind. Yeah, absolutely. You know? as, as oh, is that Joe shit Rogan like Joe Rogan stuff. believes in? Joe Rogan. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Tanks. Yeah, so deprivation <laughs> tanks. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. um, but <laughs> the only thing I've been deprived of is sunlight. So, if, <laughs> if you guys don't know the story of O.J. Simpson, it's fascinating because he he basically got acquitted of murder, and then he went to Las Vegas and did a an armed robbery of his memorabilia, and that's what he's in prison for <laughs> now. Right. right. Well, not the, anymore. The well, video of that not is anymore. fucking Soon. hilarious, by the way, because like he goes in there with a mask on and he's like, "Give me back my shit." And the guy in there is like, OJ, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> what? He's like, no, man. Uh, wow. Give me my. You're like, do you know Give me how, this guy's shit back. Wow. Do you know how possession works? Oh, that's so <laughs> It's not your shit anymore. It's like a you bad fuck, Judge yeah. Judy case. <laughs> is that you it, find Dan? It on YouTube. Um, just, I want to point out based on what you just said, um, in his uh, parole hearing, um, you know, he was explaining his behavior and, and apologizing and everything. And he said, uh, I'm sorry that things turned out the way they did. 
classic non-apology. Sure. Right. Um, I had no intent to commit a crime. Oh. So he went in with the ski mask and a gun. It's not, but it's not a crime. He asked it's nicely. He didn't intend to. Yeah. I asked nicely right. first. Yeah. It wasn't my intention ever. It was armed, right? Yes. The armed robbery and a ski mask. Yeah, but think, it's not a crime. I, think his, I don't think he had a gun, but I think the people. Oh, with had a okay, gun. okay, okay. In his Sorry. mind, he's like, "Yo, you take the gun. He I'm just good. had a football. Right, right. <laughs> he was gonna launch at the guy. <laughs> hey, he could do some damage with that football. Yeah. you know, in his heyday. OJ, I've seen, I've seen your arm, man. I know you could hurt me with that cannon. I'm not OJ. <laughs> I'm just right, a guy right. with a football, <laughs> with the same build. It's like, and voice, also my name's OJ. Here's oh. my face. <laughs> right, but I'm not OJ. <laughs> not OJ. <laughs> All right. Is that it for the news? I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, that, that was, was great. Good. Right. That's a good yeah. segment. That was fun. Definitely. Cool. We got caught up. I'm Definitely. really thankful that we got caught up on the Love news. Love news. All right, well, this was a pretty fucking spicy, wild ride of an episode. Woo! Yes, yeah. it was. Hope you guys, I guess that's it. We can probably wrap it now. Yeah. Well, you guys have work to do. <laughs> you guys got to get into the lab. You got to go home. I ain't got We're too shit. drunk. Oh. Get that, get that cringe mat suit back. Well, that's what, what I was just saying. Back in the day, in the early days of this podcast, we'd have to go edit it. But now, the live. No, he's switch- talking oh, yeah, about, Jake about the, Paul. The, 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 Oh, that's what you mean. The vlog they put up tomorrow. Expect <laughs> <laughs> Jake Paul video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys, Jack. Thank Dude. you, Eric. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank Please you. check so out their fun. YouTube yeah, channels. It'll be in the description. Yeah, make sure to check out their channel. You guys are the best. Um, this Dude. was a hilariously awesome way to I spend hope you my guys day. Can come oh, back on sometime with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah let us know. I'm name the time and place. Right. We were just talking about how we don't do shit. So we're always available. so fucking true. Yeah, yes, this is a blast. Guys. Pretty much just a glorified way of hanging out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm all for that because I don't drinks. get out of my house. All I do is edit. So uh, <laughs> yes, yes, please. Crack um, some cold Dan, ones. happy birthday! Yeah. Thanks for doing the news. Happy birthday, Dan. Yeah. Dan, great job on the news. Uh, it will be a reoccurring segment. I hope yeah. you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate you. And we'll see you next Friday. So God bless you. Appreciate you. Papa bless you. Papa blessed. Jake Paul, strongest army on earth. We are savage. We, we are, are lit. savage. We no. never forget. <laughs> we never forget. <laughs> we never forget. <laughs> Don't buy us merch or we will find you. Oh, my God. All right. Goodness. Bye, everyone. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate Welcome, everybody, back to the H3 podcast. About to get into the ghost stories. But first, let's take a shot of Henny. Oh, oh my God. Man. Let's this do is going to turn me I'm into a ghost. I'm still drinking. Ela. Time to. N- not anymore. Down it. Down step it. your consumption level. Or just up. use that as your shot. I... Yeah. So we're going to get into ghost stories because that's just a staple of the show here. Just a little bit. Um, it's a tradition. That, okay? There's yeah, nothing better than a ghost so story. Gotta... No, sir. No, I'm good. Cheers. To spooks and goofs. To spooks and goofs. Yeah. Amen to that. It's been such a joy having you. You guys are the best, man. I love you guys. This right is, back at you, buddy. This Seriously, nothing blast. but love in this room, and it makes me so happy. Yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah, it really is. You know, Jack and I are old, old collab buddies. We really yeah. are, man. And we, speaking of, we gotta do some more shit together. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just saying. Let me know if there's any more flags. Oh, there's a bunch more flags. <laughs> That's oh, the one I saw. That's the original one. It's a good one. <laughs> Hell yeah. So this is the segment of the show where we talk about ghosts, which is a weird little segment we do because I'm a very skeptical person, as is Hila. I don't really believe in ghosts, but the whole. thing idea of the supernatural thing supernatural <laughs> supernatural <laughs> thing something that fascinates me because it seems like everybody has an interesting ghost story so with that being said do you guys have any ghost stories or supernatural stories. supernatural anything um as much as i like to listen to them i still haven't seen much evidence that ghosts exist i had mm-hmm. one experience in uh, one of my friend's houses, and I was super drunk during it, which I feel like most ghost stories <laughs> <laughs> tend to happen. Start, yeah. Yeah. Super yeah. drunk. Yeah. Yeah. I was just drunk as shit, and um, I was on the toilet, right? And as, as all good ghost stories begin. <laughs> right, of course, because the ghosts want to know what you're doing. They're like, I miss, I miss doing that. And uh, they, like the whole night, they've been talking about ghost stories in that house, and I really, I was like, I had it in my head, I was like, I really want to know if ghosts are real. Hmm. So I'm on the toilet, I'm like, well, I got nothing else to do. Are there any ghosts here? And I'm like, actually talking out loud. I'm like, yeah. are there any ghosts in this house? If you, if there are, please do something. <laughs> I'm, I'm intrigued by the fact that but, on the John you had this. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, loud, I, I was yeah. alone. Like, I, I was like, no one's ever gonna know about you this. Just all of a sudden, thought about ghosts bunch. randomly. Yeah, well, uh, it was an old house, and they were like, yeah, we have ghosts here, and they were telling their Your ghost stories. Okay. okay, yeah, okay. they got told right. me okay. this okay. shit is haunted. And uh, I was like, I, I want to see a ghost. And they were like, well, just, you know, stick around for a while. You might see one. Or <laughs> you might see something creepy. 
So I'm, I'm mm. on the toilet, and I'm like, are there any ghosts here? If there's a ghost here, just do something. And a paper towel roll on the, on the sink counter rolled a little bit. And I was like, oh, that's a ghost! Huh. <laughs> now, in my mind, thinking back, uh, that was obviously just a breeze coming in through the window. <laughs> or uh, probably my timing. breath moving it while yeah. I'm like asking mm. into the, the nothingness. Either, well, either wants to believe in the supernatural. No, but I how, would, how would your breath move the towel? I don't know. And I like. But I, a window would explain. I think a window or something like that. But I saw a pa- It's the stupidest ghost story ever. Like, <laughs> like, Eric, how do you know the ghosts are real? Well, one moved the paper towel roll. I was while on I was the shitter shit and once. I said, hey, ghost. <laughs> I think it's a fantastic story. Well, that's, that's my thing with ghosts. I freaked out though. Like I ran yeah. back into the room with everybody. I was like, "Guys, oh. it's a fucking ghost! Move that's, the paper towel roll." That's my thing with ghosts. Is like, because we went ghost hunting with Post Malone once, and I'm like, and he kept being like, "Ethan, stop talking because we're not gonna be able to hear the ghosts." And I'm like, "These pussy ass fucking low tier ghosts better step their shit up <laughs> if they can yeah. spook me over my own voice." Yeah, and that's kind of what I would say. Is like, if that's that's the best you've got, mm-hmm. you right. know, right. move the paper towel roll. Yeah, like, right. like I talked into the beyond. <laughs> I I spoke my words into the, I the existence dimension of reality right. Of, right. of an afterlife, and what they had in response was they they made a paper towel roll go. <laughs> Some ghost was like. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, I think on their side, they were probably, like, channeling it, like, like, (laughs) That's fucking, that's a pretty good story, if I'm being honest. It's, it makes me, it didn't answer anything. Yeah. And I felt really embarrassed about getting so worked up about it in the immediate moments after. Because, again, I was pretty blasted. So I ran back (laughs) into this room, like, ten of my friends, who I immediately embarrassed myself in front of by being like, There's a, the ghost moved the paper towel roll, guys, ghosts are real. And they're like, uh, right. that's not pussy. what we're talking about. <laughs> right, <laughs> they say yeah. this place is haunted. <laughs> they hear like shield babies crying. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. slamming yeah. doors. There's yeah. chains being dragged not across the ground. Right. Yeah. One sheet at a time. It seems like it's always like you either you can find an explanation for it or you got to want to believe. Yeah. Yes. And absolutely. then you like. You have to make a leap. I'll say that. To, yeah. to explain. Having it. ghost hunted with Austin, who is a believer, mm. that you, it definitely requires, at least for, as I've observed, and suspension of disbelief. Sure. Yeah. Sure. It's fun. Although there were it some weird noises at the end before we left. But I feel like they're more. Because you have to ask yourself, we went ghost hunting, we heard some really weird noises that spooked us all. But you have to ask yourself, what's more likely? A lizard or a snake yeah. or some kind of creature Just or a fucking house. ghost right. from yeah. another dimension <laughs> shouting yeah. at It's like, well, I feel like there's a better explanation. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, do you have any ghost stories? I'm so boring, I don't. Because I was just racking my brain the entire time and trying to think if I... Per- and I, I really don't. There's nothing... I like going just back... My little history of time. There's... Anything creepy, un- unexplainable? I mean, I walked into a room full of ectoplasm once, but I don't think <laughs> looking back, <laughs> no, I'm no, not no, sure. That's, that's, that could be anything, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That could have just been a bunch of slime eels. <laughs> Hagfish. Sorry. Which are real. Sorry. Which are real. I, it was on Nickelodeon. It was a Nickelodeon show. <laughs> you got slimed. Oh man, remember that? It's it's fun to think that ghosts are real. It is. It really gives us hope. I want to believe. Like if I get hit by a bus tomorrow, I would love to be a ghost. And just I'm not done. I'll haunt Elo, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a ghost. I'm just gonna haunt the fuck exactly. out of her. Like, you guys want to have like a like a ghost, you know, like Patrick Swayze. Absolutely. Like you're gonna have to get into pottery. Ethan's gonna try to move on, and I'm just gonna haunt her ass. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> She's gonna try to like find love and do a life and shit. I'm just gonna ruin that. You doing the podcast on your <laughs> own? And, like, one of the mics keeps swinging around. And so nothing. Huh? There's a towel. No, but moment. I'll tell you this. I am a non-believer, but I would love to believe in the idea of an afterlife. Like, I mean, a heaven specifically. Um, I, I don't think it's real, but I mean, like, it's just, it's enticing, you know? I was, I was born and raised, uh, Catholic, and then at some point, hmm. um, around, like, 18. Are you religious? No. No, it's some, I just kind of, kind of just stopped, I, I kind of questioned everything. There was mm. a point in time where I just started questioning. Did you go to church as a young boy? Sure, every Sunday, and sometimes Sunday and Tuesday, twice a week, because I went to a Catholic middle school from fifth to eighth grade. 
And you know, and I was super. I prayed every night. I was very religious. You what know? did you pray? Like, what were your prayers like? Oh, silly concerns. Like, Please make my exam. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me, help me study better. You know, yeah. and it was. You never prayed for something to happen. You prayed for the strength to make it happen. I did that a lot. So instead of like, I. Please, Please give let me be the strict to deal with this. Exactly. Like, help me. Like, don't That's give wholesome. me an A plus on this test tomorrow. Give me the strength to study harder to mm. get the A plus. That's what I was told. And I, I still, I like that better. That's a very yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? optimistic. That's nice. You can put good energy out in yeah. the universe. Absolutely. And, and that I don't just disagree with. Just the act with. of doing it will give you the strength to persevere. At, totally. at what age did you start questioning? 18. I, you know, I, uh, ready this, to fuck, ready this, to God. ready to fuck, you know, like, no, and I'll tell you what happened. This is so dumb. It wasn't until 18, I, I read, um, Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code. Mm. Wow. And that, that rocked my fucking world. I read that and that, like, it's so stupid because it's just like this pulp novel, you know, and it's just, it's like the chapters are three pages each. And there are a hundred chapters. It's one of those, like, every chapter's a cliffhanger. But honestly, like, just the, the, the cliff notes and just all the, the, the research that went into it, like, I just, that was the point where, because up till then, I never questioned anything. And I was very religious, very religious. My AOL screen name in high school was Uncorrupted 630. No. 630. And it wasn't ironic. What was oh, this like 630? No. That's my birthday, June 30th. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm June 25th. Oh, shit. I didn't Cancer, know that. Hey, what whatever up? Whatever that means. Woo. Happy yeah, birthday, guys. I know, guys. right? Yeah. I hate that that's our, our birth uh, sign. I know um, cancer. You know, yeah, it's just a terrible sounding cancer? thing. Cancer. Yeah, what? But, cancer as a sign existed before the thing, right? Why the fuck they call it that? Cancer. Why not call it like death disease? <laughs> uh, my, right. My That's sign not is, a catchy name. My well. sign is death it's, by fifty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not a catchy name. But yeah, like I, I that's when what for whatever reason that book and also the other one, Angels and Demons, that. That just kind of like made me question my th- faith and made me ask myself questions I never asked before. I just kind of always believed, you know. But I mean, like that's that's a personal thing. I never want to. I don't want to like press that on people because it like it works for me. Mm. It doesn't work for you know like religion, you know whatever you want to believe. If it works for you, fucking do it, you yeah. know. And that worked for me. But I, personally, I I never experienced a a ghost encounter, and I'm Did just racking my brain. Did you feel God in some way when during your religious? Period. Great question. Um, <sighs> nothing specific comes to mind in terms think, of like. I feel you know, like it's really superstitious. This stuff. The God yeah. name. Yeah. Because I used to be. I used to be pretty like. Yeah. When did, and how about you? When did you start? Question? When I met this guy. <laughs> I ruined everything. This jerk. Wow. She was a I was vegetarian. She was a righteous. I was bird. nineteen. Nin- uh, no, but it's it's yeah. around the same age, so yeah, it yeah. kind of. It's funny how that. Happens. I just feel yeah. that you were not exposed to yeah. the notion. Yeah. 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 And Until you bet me. Interesting. It kind of all of a sudden everything like clicks like, hey, that's sure. bullshit. Sure. So I, I woke the fuck out of Vila. <laughs> I'm woke. woke. <laughs> but I'm not saying like I'm not saying like yo, if you believe in God, you're a fucking idiot. Like no, oh, absolutely yeah. not. Like that it works for me. Yeah. But I mean like, d- 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 dude, maybe like what do I know? Maybe I mean, my a higher parents... power does exist, and I would love to be proved wrong. I would love to be, pr- and I mean that like that's not a challenge. Like I want to believe in a heaven. I just I don't. But I really like just the notion of heaven, you know, and I everyone describes their own versions of heaven and like what a lovely thing that could be. Mm. It just it, I don't think it's real, but like I'm not going to rub it in someone's face and be like, you believe in God? That's cute. You know, like, that, like fuck, that, fuck those that, people. That is a move from mm-hmm. people, too. Oh, I know, like, to, and I hate to be that. like, oh, you believe in God? Well, you're an idiot. Yeah. It's so, it's, yeah. yeah. Well, jeez. I, I hate that's that. low-level atheism. Yeah, it is. Though. Very, very low-level My mom, atheism. My mom is still, like, she believes in everything, but whenever you talk to her about it, the what she sees in it is just good morals. I, and and, and that, that is just that's nice a core for thing. anyone. Human that's, decency. Like, yeah. core morals, absolutely. Like, the bi- like. If nothing else, the Bible has some great life lessons. And it dumb all, ones. It has What's really that, and dumb ones? shitty oh, ones and dumb ones. Oh, terrible yeah. ones. That's so, so like, yeah. your mom's a great person. But she doesn't, f- yeah, she focuses on the good lessons, like, you know, be good to others. You'll, yeah. Mm. Yeah, like those are the ones you should focus on. God, you know? What's like, that? Everybody's got their own version of God. Yeah. 100%. Some people are like, oh, God hates gay people. Yeah. Right. And like, right. gay people are like, well, I mean, I go to church and uh, my God yeah. doesn't. Right. <laughs> exactly. Hate gay yeah. people? That's a really that good point. Suck. God is different to God is every single the, person. Yeah. I mean, God That's is true. in the mind of of the <clears throat> of man. 
we create. I mean, in my opinion, we created. We God. created God, totally. not the other way around. Totally. Mm-hmm. I yeah. And it still works, even in like we created this kind of idea, this very abstract idea of this person who is situational, who you know validates what we want to believe. That's what it, it's. I love that. It's validation. It's validation for all of our like drives and goals. It like that. You know. It's and sometimes it's justification too. I mean, our our minds are not equipped to deal with the infinity possibilities no. of the universe. Yeah. So when we talk about God, it's just kind of we, we addressing in, that. Yeah, we invented fire and we were like, who's responsible for this? Right. Yeah. Right. Why does fire exist? Right. We didn't invent fire, by the way. I don't mean that. No, no, we but I got found, no, we, we the discovered Hennessy it. just caught up. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> my man. We, we, but I get it. But it's true. Well, yeah. well we, we learned to, you know, utilize it. Right. And we were like, right. what, where does lightning come from? We and then just like can you imagine, fucking apes running around. Can you on a imagine? Plane. I mean, it's it, it, as a fucking. Yeah, we were like, somebody up there is sending yeah, that to what? us, right? Right. Yeah. right. right. Tornadoes or hurricanes or lightning. Back How could in the you day, not think yeah. back then that it was from a higher power? Of course. Of course. It's there, the, that's the logical explanation. Like, what else? We're like, we there, there's a big it. one of us up there. Exactly. Yeah. Controlling everything. I get it, you know? <laughs> there's, there's like, uh, you know, the idea of like a sentient universe, I think, is like a really good, like, play it safe kind of version mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Of, of thinking about it where like you can go up and like say something to the sky but really you're just like talking to yourself in a way yeah my, mm-hmm. my yeah. favorite expression of that is what Carl Sagan said which is my favorite he says he, uh, humanity is a way for the universe to know itself wow we're mm-hmm. like the conscious mind of the universe because we have this notion of self awareness and observation and trying to use science to understand the world around us so it's not so much that God, like in a way, we are that God mm-hmm. because we have the ability to look in on the universe and understand it. So without that intellect, the universe would just be a fucking mechanical. It's just a clock that's turning its gears. Right. But just there's heat nothing, expansion forever. That's all. It would right. Be. There's no way to be like this to a, even acknowledge existence itself. Yeah. And if we ever meet like an alien race, you know, what fucking God do they believe in? Right. Do you think well, that that's would be good, crazy though? Really if like, we crazy. met an alien race and they had the same copy of the Bible as us, <laughs> then I, that would that kill our yeah. whole then conversation. Then I would probably be like, yeah. ah, all right, uh, oh, shit. Jesus, you Jesus, know what? There's something up, to like, it, I guess. Jesus, let me tell you about Jesus. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> yes. hang on, right, a that would be insane. <laughs> They've got I'll pyramids be at the and shit. Right, right. Like, ah, yeah, he taught us how to make spaceships. All we had to do was not crucify him. But would it be would it be church or synagogue? It's the same shit. <laughs> it really is. It? it really is. It's the same shit. The Jews, it's all the same The shit. Jews did it first, but yeah. everyone else is like, that's dumb. There's always some salacious shit let's get in what this they building. wrote, but it's all the same guy at the let's end of the chain. Let's get in this building. Let's fuck some kids. Let's call it a day. <laughs> Why? Why? Let's, you know, Why fuck kids? Well, that's what they do, well, right? Well, you know, they were, the, they were Disney before Disney. Disney. <laughs> that Disney Channel float. Yeah. <laughs> Five million it's every kids day, bro. raped, never done before. <laughs> oh right. boy! All right, and with time that, to end. What a we'll, great book! Now end. we oh, shall boy. really wrap it up. Wow! Yeah. Now we thank said you, some shit Eric. we can regret. Thank you, Ethan. Thank, thank you, you, Hila. Thank you. This was awesome. This was, thank Long you, time Hila. coming. Hila. Yo, come, come here. Thank you, come on. <laughs> thank you guys for joining us. Dream you team. can watch live at Twitch.com. S- not twitch.com Jeez, you did it again you did, <laughs> you it, again. did it again twitch.tv slash h3 production you can watch every Friday at 3pm thanks for joining us thank you to these two wonderful gentlemen and Hila of course and uh, we'll see you next week guys thanks for tuning in appreciate you. ta-ta cut it <laughs>